hear I can hear the you studio. Now. Yeah, I, can hear you now. <clears throat> I can't hear anybody talking to me. Yeah, I okay. can't. Hello. Yep. Yeah, we we're. Go. No, he can't hear us. That's no, the I can. I can. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. Cool. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, Christian. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Double digits there, huh? <laughs> All the way to ten. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, not all the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dodgeball. It's hard to believe I've only got a semester <laughs> of community college under my belt. <laughs> I'm going to go Chief Jets' best jerseys. <coughs> Certainly not these Kings teams. I don't really like them when they put the ads on. Oh, the, sorry, on the Kings. The, Kings oh, yeah. you like them? Okay. Okay. What by him last night? He didn't make that call. Long arm. Long as hell, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Team me up for anything or no?
Hello and welcome to Studio City Live in the Cow. Da da da. That title's fun. I'm Ian Hosford, and with me is Christian Bullen. Uh, tonight is the last night of competition. After last night's results, take a look at the first game where the Ryukyu Kings fell to Guangxia 78 to 60. Uh, the Chiba Jets beat the Orions 83 to 68, setting up our first match of the night between the Kings and the Orions for third place. Oh, okay, we got a look. That's right. Yeah, setting up like Yuku Kings versus the Orions. And after strong performances in the group stage, they will both fight to finish the tournament on a victory for third place. And on a positive note. After the first game, <laughs> we will conclude the night with our championship match, the first ever inaugural Super 8 champion between the Guangxia Lions and the Chiba Jets. Gonna be sick. And then we're right into talking about the matchup. I'll probably switch those in with here. Kings and Orions. Actually, I'll... Yeah, let's take a look at the Kings from last night. After going 3-0 in the opening round, struggled to come out early, and we're on the back foot with, a, with some fast break points. Christian, give us some stuff. Yeah, they came out pretty flat. Um, out quarter, I think it was 26 to 8 in the first quarter. So they're going to look to start off a little, a little hotter here in this game. Led by the big guy there, Hilton Armstrong down low, looking to control the paint. Probably check my roster for a local name to throw in there to add some <laughs> firepower and uh, looking to regain their dominant status we were so accustomed to seeing in the opening round. On the other end, of course, the Goyang Orion Orions also looking to finish up strong. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from last night and see how they got here. We'll play with the timing on that one. Gavin Edwards down low was in foul trouble for the majority of the night, but still managed to have, oh no, that wasn't his other team. Vernon Mack. JK, Vernon Mack was dominant inside with some strong low post moves and a big defensive presence. Christian, what can you say about this team? Yeah, I got my eye on the headband tonight. Moon came out hot last game, four, four shots in a row off the bat, and then you didn't really hear from him too much after that. So hopefully you can keep it going tonight, a little more consistency. And there you have it. You like that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, we're going to, it was a Macklin first. Are they, are, do we, is the camera guy going to, Film, uh, zoom in on Macklin when we go over his stats or okay um, yeah it's been a great great couple of days of competition no doubt yesterday excited the fans in a way that you'd I'll think of some good words there it was lots of fun for everybody great high quality basketball leading to tonight's culminating event where the best teams will play for third place and first place I think the best teams will be playing for first Okay. Hello and welcome to the Super 8, coming to you live from Studio City in Macau. This is the final day of competition. After finishing the group stages, we were able to witness high quality basketball last night in the semifinals. The first game, the Ryukyu Kings fell to the Guangxia Lions by 18 by a score of 78 to 60, setting up, oh yeah, and then the Chiba Jets defeated the Goyang Orion Orions, 83 to 68 after a tightly contested match, allowed the Jets to pull away in the end. Our third place match is first up between the Kings and the Orions, both showing strong performances in the group play. We'll look to finish the tournament on a high note. After that, we'll have our championship match, which is gonna be amazing. 
between the Guangzhou Lions and the Chiba Jets. Well, Christian, it's been an exciting couple of days of action. I'm probably going to have you chime in with something cheesy here to say, doing what you do best. <laughs> Fans have had a great time. <laughs> what you, what you got? Well, I just want to see both teams play hard, try and clean it up. Yesterday started a little sloppy. Uh, third place is never what you're aiming for from the outset, but here you are now, like you said. No, let's the go a little bit more like they're, this, it's, they're, they're the good teams. Let's go like, yeah. should we hype it up? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The Ryukyu Kings last night started off slow Positive after running right. through the table with an undefeated record coming and falling early, giving up some easy fast break points to turnovers. What's that? The big guy down low, Hilton. Hilton Armstrong. Blah, blah, blah. What did you say about that? Yeah, it's Hilton Armstrong, NBA level talent. You're going to keep an eye on him. Make sure he's running the floor. And our favorite local player. Here we go. Number something. Thank you. Thanks, Chucky. Da, da, da. And they will be going up against the Go Young Orion Orions, who have also had a very strong tournament, falling last night to the Chiba Jets. Yeah, Vernon Macklin really showed up for them. He's uh, he's got great length. He's a big guy, but he's got his hands full tonight with uh, with Armstrong. So yeah. I'm excited to see that matchup. And look for him to make a presence both offensively and defensively. Surrounded, it's bolstered offensively by strong supporting cast: Dewar, Spencer, Tae Jung Moon, and everybody else in the red jerseys. <laughs> probably probably that a little bit or something. Both guards warming so. up. As the squad's warm up, we'll take a look at the players to watch for in key matchups. Starting with the big guy down low for the Orions, Vernon Macklin, who's averaging 20 points per game throughout the course of the tournament. What do you think he's going to be looking to do tonight, Christian? Yeah, last night in the uh, the the, uh, the semifinal match, he was going over both shoulders down low in the post. He even took him a little, a few steps out. So he's got pretty decent range. Do you think his he fits under the shower of his room, of his five-star quality Studio City? Uh, hotel you're, room? A, you're a big guy. You know better than I do. <laughs> And on the other end, key player. Who was it? The other end's got to be Armstrong, right? Number 22, right? Oh, no, no, 12. Oh, yeah, it's Hilton Armstrong, yeah. No, 12, Hassan Martin. Oh, that's, yeah, it's Hassan Martin, because he made the, yeah. yeah. Down low for the, for the Golden Kings is Hassan Martin, who's had a strong overall tournament offensively, defensively, and rebounding, averaging nine rebounds per game over the course of the tournament. Christian, what can you tell us about Hassan? Yeah, he's a versatile player. Um, really positionless. He can defend the ball well, good hands, and uh, stays active. So I'm looking for more of that tonight. Lovely. Lovely. Um, we got some. I guess from here we'll just start setting up. And as mentioned before, uh, oh, you have a little time. Okay, so we'll start it out. Talk about the team and focus on Hassan Martin. Okay. There we go. And we'll go with the, with the Kings. Kings are better than they showed up last night. Is he playing? Okay. Is he playing the guard spot for them, Humboldt Martin? Martin. Oh, he's a three, right? Because nine rebounds a game for the three is pretty a lot. At least guarding a wing player, if they're not crashing, you kind of free reign to not five out and go get it, right? But I could be like, yeah, he really likes to go down and crash the boards. Just on both sides. Wow, I'm trying to get these heights. Which one? Down. Which one is it? Hassan, this big boys here. Yes, yes, yes. Did you say? Sorry. Yeah. Saving all of our enthusiasm for live. Okay. 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 Yeah. Are, 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 okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Sip your water. Do uh, you want to just run and grab one from the thing? Are they in there? Yeah. Yeah.
Thank you. Uh, Christian's here. Ian is on the search for a program. I'm here. Be back in 40 seconds. say Sunday's a water day, but Plenty of people here out tonight to watch the third place match as well as the finals. Culminating in a great, great event over the weekend. Should be a great atmosphere and kicking off is a, a good match between the Kings and the Orions. Taking a look at the Kings first off. After a, a disappointing performance from strong group play, the uh, Kings will look to bounce back, led by their big man down low, Hilton Armstrong and Hassan Martin. Christian? Yeah, Hassan Martin's been crashing the boards hard. He's getting nine a game. Um, I'll save that one because it's going to come up later. Oh, that has his own graphic. No, keep going. Okay. Yeah, Hilton Armstrong's been playing well. Uh, when, he, when he runs the floor, he's hard to stop. So when he does those rim runs, you're going to want to keep an eye on him. Also bolstered by supporting cast, Naoko Tashiro and Yatura Suda. The overall offensive attack is hopefully going to be much more potent than it was last night. Yeah, 70 points a game. They're going to want to speed up that pace a little bit tonight. Yeah, and as mentioned last night as well, all throughout the game, lots of careless turnovers. Now taking a look at the challenger, the Goyang Orion Orions. The last Thank night, you. after a tightly contested match through the majority of the first four quarters, Three they quarters. fell to the, uh, the majority of the, the first, first four quarters. They fell. The big man down low, Hassan, or er, Vernon Macklin, has been strong on the inside, sorry, on offensively and defensively. Christian. Yeah, he's really just active. He's got great length, like we were saying. He's about 6'10", and uh, he's not afraid to bang down low. We got his actual height. We can figure that out one later. Also, also supportive of the strong shooting of Jung Moon last night, although cooling off a little bit in the second half, I'd probably look to him to support from the outside again. Yeah, I think he just kind of stopped looking for a shot. You want him to keep being aggressive. Even if he misses a few, he's always got a chance to go off. And, of course, the veteran leadership provided by Dwarak Spencer off the bench will be key. 
Again, Vernon Macklin down there. We'll say we'll, we'll finish it with Vernon. We'll talk with the other guys first. Vernon Macklin, 20 points per game throughout the tournament. And this is where you'll say stuff about yeah. active and shot blocks and finishing and over both shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, you talk about he had the, the face up jumper. He hit two of those last night. Yeah. And then Take him on inside, one outside. One on one post presence. Yeah. yeah. Keep on keep on teeing me up and be like, what yeah. do you think? Yeah. yeah. Hit, him, hit him with the running, running the floor jump. Okay. Um, of course, on the other end, as mentioned before, strong, strong performance throughout the group play, but coming out slow with the careless turnovers. Maybe, and I'll ask you about uh, point guard or guards. Suiting. Tashiro, or actually Tashiro setting up. Maybe looking to control the offense a little bit more. Yeah, um, Spencer had a tough night last night for the Orions, but uh, he's a veteran. We're talking about the Kings now. I know, you were talking about the matchup, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, we're talking, no, we're talking about the Kings, just okay, the Kings. Okay. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and then Hilton Armstrong, the mobile big man that uh, helped, you know, gets his teammates open, sets good screens, strong inside, offensive rebounds. Yep, another veteran on the court. He's got a lot of experience playing overseas, playing in the NBA, so keep an eye on him. And then, of course, with a standout performance for the Kings, Hassan Martin on the alternate forward spot has been okay. absolutely phenomenal. What can you tell us about him? Hassan Martin, you know, mixed him up with I another know his name. <laughs> <laughs> mixed him up with another player last night, but, <laughs> but he really had an impact. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so did we already miss the nine a game? That, what did we? we already missed the nine. Did that graphic already come up? I don't think so, right? If, is that Martin or is this Martin? That's Martin over there. Okay. That's Ira Brown. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then, okay, so once we've got the, the, the fallback, we'll just talk about setup. And then you'll, then you'll go into matchups. Armstrong, yeah, no, Armstrong, Macklin. Yeah, that's the matchup we're yeah. going after. Give him two, though, you know? I might go, uh, I might go and see what the veteran Spencer can do, bring a little more yeah, offense. Yeah, Spencer. He looks a little lackadaisical Actually, right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, ready yes. to go. Yes. Keep that energy up. I need more Red Bulls, Steve. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> we're, cool, we're cool with the plugs. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll cool down with the plugs tonight. Yeah, <laughs> but I've, got, I've got an under the table deal with Red Bull. <laughs> Get a call from Red Bull. Never in the history of advertisements <laughs> has actual overplugging caused a fall in sales, but you two made it look like the worst product anyone could be associated with. If, <laughs> if Armstrong gets a dunk, I'm going to be like, Red Bull gave him wings tonight, <laughs> Ian.
Hello and welcome to the Super 8 and the final day of competition. We're coming to you live from Studio City here in Macau. Joining me tonight is Christian Bullen and I'm Ian Hosford. Tonight's action features following the semifinal results from last night between the Ryukyu Kings and the Guangxia Lions in which the Lions came out on top by 18 points after a convincing victory. And the Chiba Jets securing the alternate spot in the finals tonight after defeating the Orions 83 to 68. Tonight's matchups now include the Kings versus the Orions, who will be battling for third place, looking to end the tournament on a high note after going down last night. And following that, the first ever champion of the Super 8 will be decided between the Guangxia Lions and the Chiba Jets, which promises to be a very exciting and high-level matchup that I think we're all looking forward to. All the fans are real excited to be here. They're pouring in now, and it's going to be the, the final day of another of a, of a week of great competition. Christian, what can you say about the Super 8's inaugural tournament so far? Yeah, everything has been top-notch so far between the competition, the atmosphere, the halftime entertainment. It's been uh, it's been top-notch in first class. Absolutely. Really enjoyable. Absolutely. Really enjoyable. Take a look at the Kings last night as they rolled through the pool play with an undefeated record of 3-0 coming out a little bit flat last night. Never really got it going despite some high-level actions, very athletic plays led by Hilton Armstrong, the NBA talent inside, and Ivor Brown and Hassan Martin as well. Yeah, Hassan Martin's all over the glass and you don't usually see that for a guard, so he's really up and down the court. He can move and, and Armstrong can as well. And of course, well-rounded performance with a supporting cast with Kishimoto and Datura Suda. It's a tough On name there. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> On the other end tonight, we have the Goyang Orion Orions. And uh, we'll take a look at some highlights from last night's game. They had a tough matchup, didn't they? Yeah, they played hard, but uh, Gavin Edwards gave them some problems. Moon came out pretty hot. He just couldn't continue it throughout the game. Taejong Moon, the strong outside shooter who also had a good all-around game with some good shots, good defensive presence, and the big guy down low, Vernon Macklin, dominating inside and outside. What are you looking for him tonight? Yeah, and like we said, he's got inside game. He's got a little bit of outside game as well. So he can turn over both shoulders. He's got a little baby hook. He's got it all. That's right. And of course, the veteran guard, Dwarf Spencer, checking in off the bench, off the bench, I should say, for the Orions, rounding out an impressive roster. As we said before, the big guy, Vernon Macklin, down low, averaging 20 points per game over the course of the tournament. Again, for somebody that size, how's how's he? What's his, his mobility? How's he getting his points? Yeah, well, the thing about him is he's not just getting 20 points a game. He's also shooting a real high percentage. So that's what you want to see from your high-volume shooters and your scorers. You want to get that percentage up. He does a great job. He definitely does a great It's not always shown on the stat sheet, right? He anchors the defense, and he's a strong inside presence. It's always felt whether he blocks the shot or not. But he yeah. does get a shot block, doesn't he? Yeah, Macklin's always playing above the rim, so he's a tough guy to cover. Il Young Heo also had a pretty good game last night. And of course, on the other end, Hassan Martin has had a great tournament all around play, offense, defense, garbage points, and of course, nine rebounds per game among the league leaders, leaders of the tournament. He's a real spark plug, a great athlete, and uh, he's got solid wingspan, so he affects the play even when he doesn't have the ball. I think it's interesting. They don't really pigeonhole him into a particular position, do they? Take a look at tonight's starting lineups. You have Yuta and Martin, as we've been talking about, down low. Kishimoto running the offense at guard with Tashiro rounding out the shooting guard position, and Ivor Brown down low with Taejong Moon, Heo, and Kim in the backcourt for the Orions, and Vernon Macklin and Tejo yeah, down that, for them. That matchup between the uh, the big men is what I'm looking at here, Ian. And here we go, getting ready to start our third place match between the Goyang Orion Orions in red and the Ryukyu Golden Kings in their home gold. The ball goes to the Kings. Let's see how they match up here, man to man to start. Kishimoto setting up the offense. We want to look for how they defend that pick and roll action. They're going to see a lot of it tonight. Are you looking for any motion in particular? It looks like there's a lot of pick and roll already. A high horn set to start the game. You always want to see if they're going to switch it, if they're going to go under, if they're going to go over that. Scrappy play inside. And there you go. It's Ira Brown on the offensive finish in the putback. Yeah, I like how he plays. Ian. He's pretty active down low. Back come the Orions. So here's your mismatch here. Vernon Macklin up top. A little bit of a surprise, they don't start the big man Armstrong. Dumps it down low, looking to take advantage of a mismatch there. Here we go, fast break. Kang Sun Kim down low. Here come the Kings, lob up to Brown, intercepted by the Orions, and they'll go back the other way. A little bit of sloppy play. Which is taken right back by the Kings. 
which is exactly what the Kings didn't want after last night's semifinal slow Already start. Stretches of those careless turnovers. Nightmares. Nightmares. It's a foul away from the ball. Called by the crew. Yeah, like I was saying, just a little little surprising they don't start Armstrong here. I, I kind of like the matchup between him and Mack then. We'd like to see him get on the court pretty quickly. Yeah, looks like we've got a double foul there. Don't usually see that. So both teams awarded a foul away from the ball. And the Kings will look to set it up again. Here comes that pick and roll we've been talking about. Good, good defense. Skip Another pass. careless pass. You really want to tighten it up, I'd say. Do you think that that's a pass they're looking for in the offense? Well, I mean, you're running a, you're running a wing on ball screen here. Are you looking to skip that back over? It's got to be wide open to throw that. Got to be. Good defensive set here. Good defense. Down. They get a turnover. Suda steps out of bounds. Another turnover. So more turnovers and shot attempts so far. I think that's one of the things about a tournament that goes over the span of a few days is maybe the teams come out a little flat, maybe the guys are a little sore. This is Moon the final day. Down. Yep, Moon knocks down the three with a pass from Kim. Takes him a little, a few minutes to get into the action. Things coming back the other way. There he gets good on ball pressure. Martin hands it off to the top. King's still moving it around the perimeter. Down to Brown, he faces up. Kicks it back out. There you go, second effort. Working hard again. That's the big guy down low, Hassan Martin. Yeah, we talked about pregame. He really likes to crash the boards. The one thing you got to do is keep a body on him. Ken back out to Macklin, who sizes up. Good strong take. Strong take to the basket. Doesn't get it to go. Kings I, ball back the other way. I think that's the shot that uh, the Kings will take, actually. He's not like he doesn't seem to be posting up as much as facing up and maybe getting some, some driving action to the basket. Maybe he thinks he has a little speed advantage. Interesting to see how it progresses. Kishimoto calls for a screen. There we go. Dumps it down to Martin. He takes a 15-footer. Foul and knocks one. it down. Woo. So Hassan Martin getting on the board early with four points, and he'll go to the line for one free throw. Yeah, keep feeding the hot hand. If you can get it to him every possession, I'd say do it. Coach not looking too happy there. <laughs> you never want to foul a jump shooter. Rule number one. <laughs> we'll reestablish all the fundamentals we did yesterday. <laughs> yes, sir. Live on the miss. Son Martin already with two rebounds and five points. Yep, hot start for him. Hot start for him. Coach has got to like that action. Probably look for him to continue moving towards the basket as Kim sets up the offense for the Orions, looking to narrow the lead. Page on Moon up top. Even the sets they're running are not too crisp. Like we always say, you want to run off to get a shot. You want to be aggressive. They're running off the pass at the moment. And off the Kim Ooh. takes up the basket, Ooh. blocked by Hassan. Put it on the backboard. He's running the floor now as well. You got to feed the big man. Kishimoto back over to... Hey. Yep, caught him. Caught him red-handed. Caught him red jersey. Yeah, so, I mean, sometimes off the ball, you can get away with a little more contact, but uh, the ref, ref caught him there. Yeah, it seems like they're looking for it early. Setting the tone. Setting the tone. Here's that block by Martin. Shot up for the Kings, no Off good. Back, Rebound right. Moon, Orion's the other way. See, I'd like to see him push it here. A little bit of a bobble, no call. <laughs> That's the NBA travel right there, I think they call that. Hands it off to Ken. There's Macklin, he's got that range. Not looking for it. Martin Moon, who takes it, draws the contact. I gets bail, the foul. Bailed him out on that bit one. Bit of a bailout, <laughs> bit of a bailout, but a strong take. You want to reward the effort. Yeah, for sure. Let's Moon last night establishing himself as a shooter, but later in the game as they look to close out, got a couple of good takes to the basket. Yeah, I mean, once you start knocking down a few shots, the defense has to come up tight on you, so it makes it a lot easier to get back to the basket. Yeah, let's see the foul there. Now, Moon's a good shooter. Let, let's see if these free throws can get him going a bit in this first quarter. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you're a shooter, typically going to the free throw line helps you get in your rhythm in a, kind of a cheap way. Yeah, early early, go early game points, either that or layups, you just want to see the ball go through the net. Converts on the second free throw. That's good defense. Shiro down to Ivor Brown, posts up, moves it around. Uh, no Can't jump pass. pass. Good strong take, looking for the end one. 
That would have been a prayer if that went in, huh? <laughs> Kim looking aggressive early, though. He's got a couple of takes in the basket. Rewarded there for the free throws. Yeah, you don't want to reach in there if you're that defender. You just want to stop the ball with a little bit less contact. Looks like he gave him an on-purpose foul. Nothing malicious. Neither team rolling over, though. No, right? no, no. Definitely Strong come effort. out here. Definitely come out here to play. This third place game means a little bit to both teams, and it's good to see them not too flat. This Kim with his trademark, I don't want to airball it, bank it in as hard as you can, free throw goes for him. You know, I'd say maybe 0.05% of the basketball population is looking to bank their free throws. <laughs> this guy, Kang Sung Kim, is one of them. That is an official statistic <laughs> on the unofficial Christian Bullen book of stats. Unofficial statistic. Kim right knocks down the second free throw. Oh, that be, that's a kick ball. Maybe, uh, maybe the two teams aren't the only team sleeping out here. The refs missed a call there. <laughs> Kim with a natural talent for footy. <laughs> and the Kings still looking to establish a tighter offensive flow. Brown up top, moves it back over to the wing. Yeah, both teams just still kind of feeling each other out here. Another kickball. Hey, if you can't get your hands involved, you get your feet in the, uh, the passing lanes. Trademark Christian defense, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you can do. Looking here. So watch this action here. They got him down low. They're not looking for it. And that's Hassan Martin I'm talking about. Good. Nice. Ooh. Lot pass not able to go for the Kings as Brown gets the offensive rebound. That's a good skip. Skips it back over to Kinjo who's now checked into the game. Martin takes the shot. No good. Offensive rebound. Kings get it back again. <laughs> you want to talk about playing above the rim. This guy Brown, even though he missed a dunk. He's he, active. Yeah, he's skying around out there. Look for him. You got to reward him. Now he might get a block here. Another turnover. And Ryan's back the other way. They haven't gotten Max in the ball like I want him to. Have a couple of steps there, huh? <laughs> Another turnover. Lackadaisical. Lackadaisical. Just look at this. Failed lob pass. Not quite able to get a good handle on it. Yeah, he kind of he kind of bobbled it a little bit. Certainly high enough above the rim. Just Very missed nice it. Very pass. Yeah. yeah. That's the way you drive right there with your head up, looking for your, your teammates on the baseline. They make better passes when they're 12 feet in the air, don't they? Ground level, they kind of struggle. <laughs> He's got a wide catch radius. Pass from Kenjo. Martin goes inside. Block. Blocked by Moon. That's the second time I've seen Moon with a good help block. He's active on D. It's also the second time you've seen him wear a headband. What can you say about that? Trademark. You know, you don't see it too often. It's kind of gone out of style. He's bringing it back. When you play like him, you know, you wear whatever you want. There you go. That's Brown. Ira Brown on the wing. They're not able to get it off for the shot clock. Now, are we putting that blame on, on Martin? Or are we putting the blame on his teammates for not being aware of how much time's on well, the shot every, clock? Every, everybody should be aware, right? Yeah. I mean, if you're on the court, you should know. Clock's going down. When we were in college, we had a rule, and most teams have this. When the clock goes down past red, you... I mean, the bench, if, if the coach, someone's got to be saying something. So yeah, when the, yeah. The clock yeah. goes down past 10, you all call it out. You call, call it out. And now, when the Kings had some pressure in that semifinal game, they uh, they were bringing in full court pressure. They started making a little run. I'm, I'm curious to see if they do that tonight. You can never go full court all game, or you usually can't, but in spurts, they might want to look for that. Tough mismatch down there. He's got him by a good foot. Nina Mora and Kim toss it up with a rebound. And we got Kohei back in the game. That's who I'd be looking for the pressure from if he's going to play full court. Number eight for the Kings. Colton Armstrong checking into the game now for the Kings. Here's the impact player we've been looking at, right? Good to finally see him on the court. Although Martin, Martin had a good run himself. Interesting call. They're not playing together, but backing each other up. Right. Maybe they, maybe they have overlapping skills. I'm not sure what the coaches think of preseason. See what happens. Nice. Stuffs it down for the Orions. That's how you finish the dunk. And that was good offensive execution. See the back screen setting him up and a good pass down low. We'll see if uh, we'll see if Macklin can get a little bit more involved after that dunk. Get him going. Armstrong running the high-low action Tough over shot. to Kinjo in the corner. Tough he doesn't shot. hit the three. Ball goes out of bounds. The official call on the court is still. To be decided, it looks like they're going to give it to the Orions. Looking for a little down screen action here with Moon. Come off, get a shot. 
Oh, here he comes. He's just curl to the moon, curl him back up. And here's that pick and roll with Macklin. He's got a good wide screen base. Tejo with the drive, puts it up, doesn't get it to go. Brown with the rebound, Kings back the other way. Now Armstrong, he's got a, he's got a few steps on his man if he can run to the rim. There Armstrong you go. down in the middle open. The foul. Yeah, if you see it there, Macklin spent a little time complaining about the lack of call and uh, Armstrong beating down the court. Take a look at this free play here. Yeah, you see it push him right in the back. Not a bad play though, he's probably getting a dunk if you don't foul him there. But Moon, Moon playing the help side early. We saw him there with the block on, on Brown, on Martin it was. And again, they're in the help side drawing the foul as Ivor Brown checks out for a breather. A little bit of confusion here with the ref. Maybe a clock issue. Oh. I'm not sure what they're discussing here. Maybe an illegal substitution. So Kim checking into the game for the Orions. If they're going to have Moon guarding Armstrong, which it looks like, oh, they're switching that. So there you go. Looks like they might be in a zone now on a 3-2. Yeah. Yes. Good call. So I'm not sure if the Kings are aware they switched to his zone. Slicing through, putting it up, doesn't get it to go. Macklin with the rebound. Yeah, he's getting above the rim tonight. He lives above the rim. Yep, he's paying rent there he's for sure. He's a big boy. <laughs> good cut. Good backdoor cut there. See, Flutter <laughs> not good. Macklin on the board is not able to get it to go. Armstrong has that effect where he should have finished that basket, but he's just nervous. There you go, get it real high. Finish it. Finish it. On the end one. And one. Good finish. You do talk about the, that defensive presence sometimes referred to as a Bill Russell block, where the intimidation factor, just the thought of, of right. having a shot block alters the, the trajectory or sort of the attempt on it, right? Right. I mean, the player's driving baseline. He's got a pretty good look at the hoop, and, and Armstrong doesn't even jump. Yeah, we see Armstrong working hard there down low, getting good position. So he, again, does, yeah, he doesn't even jump, and he still impacts the shot, like you were saying. Right. Knocks down the free throw. And it is one of those things where you want to see your big guys, your big men, do their work early. It's not necessarily about getting the ball and then creating position. It's if you can get to the front of the rim and create easy, limited, sort of low energy baskets, you, you want to do that. That's the key, in my opinion. They call it rim runs. Uh, Spencer in the game now. Had a, had a tough night last night. Just joined us. This is the third place match for the Super 8 between the Orions and the Kings. Later on, we'll have the final at 9.30. Yeah, I'm real excited the about the final. And the Chiba Jets. Yeah, real excited about the final. Another good cut. Good back for cut by the Orions. So good offensive action for the Orions as they're looking to take advantage of easy baskets. Yeah, so they both came out a little sloppy. You can see they kind of tightened it up here. A little bit less turnovers. Kings playing ah. weave on that weave defense. As they're definitely in the zone here. Hilton looking to skip. Kings moving it around. Puts up a three from the wing. And doesn't move. go and move with the rebound. Now push it, push it. That's nice. yep. skipping it over to Spencer. Sizes up a deep three. Hey. Knocks it down. Right away checking into the game. <laughs> letting him know that I'm going to be here. I like his pace. He's in cruise control. He just comes out and switches a three. Heads to the bench. <laughs> Timeout on the floor. Orion's 14 and the Ryukyu Kings 10. Yep, good game. Let's take a listen in on what the coaches have to say. Right, uh, put the shirt. The, you know, the Zaki, the Zaki. Zaki, the Zaki, the Zaki, the Zaki, the Zaki, the Zaki, the the Zaki, the Zaki, the Zaki, the Zaki, you go high, and then it'll go to Nino. Nino, put a step up. All right. Then go up the boy. Then Rio, my coach, can nagar the boy. Coach, a ball side dinner. Then two times, throw the ball like nagar. He goes up. Then we argue. Ball will miss. Huh? Cut it out of his arm. When the ball goes to high post, well, this man might likely to 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 cut. So this man has to see a ball go. Nice stroke. Had it the whole way. Like we were talking about last night. You get a chance to step into those long shots. You got a good chance of making them. Yeah, but it looks like a lot of small tactical adjustments and communication going on as opposed to kind of big picture efforts. So yep. coaches both happy probably with the energy they're seeing from their teams. Yeah, I think so for sure. Um, that's all you really want to do in this kind of preseason action. They've got a few games under their belt now. Just minor, minor adjustments. Looks like they've gone back to man-to-man -man here, Ian. 
King's coming back now. And uh, Macklin's out of the game as well, which might have an impact. Armstrong with a high screen there. Nice, nice, oh, good nice. drive there. Knocks it down for the Kings. Good left hand. Kept them off balance. As Nino, Nino Mia gets up. Here comes Spencer. He wants it. He, 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 he thinks he's got a mismatch here, I think. Spencer sizing up his defender. Never in a rush, Spencer. Moving it back around as Kim pulls up a 15-footer. Bangs it in just like he does his free throws. <laughs> Whatever works. Buckets or buckets. <laughs> Kings now over to the corner. They can't get Armstrong on that roll. It's a bad angle for that pick and roll. Armstrong with a mismatch. The double team comes, still holds on to it, bobbling down. Yeah. <laughs> Tried to dive on the ball there. They got it. Oh, it's tough. That's all. Rock clock violation. Now for Armstrong, you're a big man, and you don't want him taking too many dribbles down there. Well, this is he has a, the mismatch here, right? He's looking to, you know, yeah. he's looking to go, and the double never, team yeah, happens to come. Never saw the double team coming. I think is a problem. Good It'll fight. be interesting to look for the double team more consistently if the Orions want to continue with that. And so you can see now, like I was saying, number eight for the Kings, he's given that full court pressure. I'm not sure if it's just dummy defense or if they really want to pressure the ball. Looks like they're really going to put some pressure on him. Open court screen as the Orions come up. You know, when a backup point guard checks in the game, you want to give him a little pressure, see if he's got the confidence Spencer to handle the ball. The, Spencer gives the ball after the high screen. Getting the on ball pick and roll, swings it over. I like how Spencer's looking at that. And Troy and in the one. basket. And one. Getting the and one. See if he can knock it down. He he's play, another, yeah, he's another player that had a little bit of a struggle last night offensively, but has all the tools you want out of a wing player with that length and ball handling ability. I was going to say, he's a good ball handler. Uh, he's a great athlete, so you want to see, a, you expected to see a little bit more out of him last night, and uh, maybe he can make up for it tonight. See if he's able to capitalize on this free throw. Give the Orions a little bit more breathing room. Bench players come to the game. You just want to make sure there's no let off. Martin's going for the rebound yeah. there. A little he's, under a minute to play now. Martin's got that rebounding in him. Now they show a little full court zone. Now they're back up into what? 3-2? Three, 2-3. Two? Two, three. King's trying to work that ball around the perimeter to beat the zone, create a little bit of space. Yeah, if you can get that zone moving, that's how that's the key to beating it. Not dribbling. Don't over dribble. You want to pass to your teammates. Looks like Martin will draw the foul at the post up down low. And they are now in the bonus. So Martin's going to get two free throws here. It's important for all the players to be aware that they're in the bonus. Now, offense, you want to take advantage. Defense, 27 seconds left. Don't give any dumb fouls. Take a look here at the action as he sets up and establishes position. They're bringing that double, no matter who's posting up. Looks like they got Kim for the foul on that one. So Martin rims out the first free throw. Now, end of the quarter here, so the matchups might change in the next 30 seconds or so, but if that, if Kim is going to stay on Martin, that might be something you want to take advantage of as the size isn't there defensively for Kim. As Martin knocks down the second free throw. Yeah, size not always the biggest thing. We've seen Tagashi last night. <laughs> Sometimes the undersized players are really fighting. And again, you'll see him tonight in the final. Can't wait. I can't wait for that. Highly anticipated matchup. Can't wait. Now they're denying Spencer the ball. They don't want to give him that ball. Here he goes. Spencer gets it, sizes up his defender. Strong Ooh. takes it to the basket. Little runner in the lane, bounces around. Not able to get it, but... Looking for the call. Kings strip the rebound, push it back. Five Ooh. seconds left. Good effort, good effort. Maybe Spencer got away with a little off-ball push-off there. Kinto's going to check in the game for the final possession of the first quarter. With three seconds left. See if they can get a good look here. Only three seconds. Get something going towards the rim. Yep, there you go. Kenzo gets the catch, turns it around, and <laughs> fires it. No good. He had a little more time than that. That's all right. Good, good first quarter action. Ball out of bounds. So the first quarter in the books, Orion's with a five-point lead over the Kings, 18 to 13. Yep. My bad. And been a strong first quarter. Some exciting play thus far. What are you seeing so far between the matchups? Uh, it's been pretty good defense. Uh, 
fouls here and there. A little bit sloppy to start the game like we were talking about, but they're cleaning it up towards the second quarter. I'm looking forward to it. It looks like as Hilton Armstrong and Vernon Macklin are, are matching up. They're not necessarily getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one action, but they're getting their baskets where they can in the offense. Yeah, these guys are guys that impact the game, not necessarily by scoring all the time, but being such a big body on the court, you're going to have an impact. All right, and that being said, they are managing to get their points where they can as Ivor Brown and Hassan Martin have been the duo on the glass to create some easy baskets for the Kings. And the smothering defensive pressure from the Orions has led to some easy turnovers that they've been able to take advantage of, including the defensive effort of Tejon Moon, as you see the block there. Macklin getting way up above the rim. You know, you're seeing a little bit of full court pressure from both teams, which is interesting in a preseason tournament. Maybe they're just working it out. I like the way Spencer's looked as well starting the game. That's right. As you point out, Spencer's coming in. He's, he's been aggressive. He's not he's not shying away from the moment. He's looking to kind of get his team a, a, a jump. He's yeah. definitely one of the more talented scorers on the team. Right. What's the rationale behind bringing him off the bench as opposed to starting him in the guard spot? Uh, maybe they're nervous about their, their second unit. They want to put a little firepower on that second unit with no let off. Uh, maybe he's a little tired from Studio City Macau. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was thinking a lot of times people like having a strong score in the second string, and I was kind of cheating you up for that one, but that's all right. We've all got our own opinions. The Monter Ginobili type role is what you're talking exactly, about. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, getting ready for the second quarter now. And Orions will start the second quarter off with possession. Looking to build on that five-point lead as Spencer gets it on the wing. They're running back around yep. the perimeter. Little zone defense here from the Kings. So both teams applying the zone defense early. Macklin down low. Strong move Ooh. to the middle. Hook denied. And the Kings he's come gotta, back the other way. He's got to get up there running. Oh, good. He's all hey. Hey. Martin cleans up the garbage and flashes it down <laughs> right on the floor. I love how he's been playing tonight. As an exciting play. He I establishes his playing. presence in a myriad of ways. Yeah, it's another, another good rebound for him. He cleans up the action. Dump down to Macklin, back up to Spencer, sizes up to three. Hey. Doesn't get it to go as it rims out, but does draw the foul, as Christian loves to say. Never foul a jump shooter. <laughs> the number one rule of life. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Martin. He can really get off the floor, man. Flushes it down with such power. See, Spencer's not afraid to shoot that. He got a guy closing out to him, still pulls the trigger, almost got a four-point play. First shot rattles home. You know, he's another guy. He's 21 points a game, 53% from the field, and he's a great free throw shooter to add to that 86%. And that's a, as we said, the strong scoring presence to yeah. bring him off the bench. Yeah, Monter Ginobili esque. There he goes. King's ball pressure. Pass intercepted by Spencer. And he stays in bounds. He's all over the place. He's looking for a shot here, too. He's got Spencer that range. He's sizing up another deep He's got three. that range. Knocking it down. He's got that range. Spencer finding the shots early and really running the offense here. King's coming back the other way. Looking to stop the bleeding a little bit. Yeah, the word, the word that comes to mind for Spencer is poised. Watanabe over to Tsuyama, who gives it back to Suda. Good look. Tsuyama dumps it back down, skips it up high, pass deflected. Shot clock running down. They're not going to get it off. They just barely get it off, and it doesn't quite get in. Good save. And the Orion save it back out to the Kings. <laughs> He's not going up with that. Macklin's right there Macklin's saying, no, thank saying, you. Yeah. <laughs> Staying in that 3 2 zone as Martin gets to the top, makes a move to the basket, That's puts a good it take. up, doesn't finish. Orion no. back the other way. Keep an eye on Spencer. He's looking to spot up at any time. Like we were saying, he's really got that range. He shot that one near half court. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> he's not shy. Nice, nice, easy release. I'd like to see him and, uh, and Macklin involved in some pick and roll if they're not still playing zone defense. Why don't you go over and ask him? So, Coach seems like a reasonable guy. <laughs> ah, they don't want to listen to me. And neither do the viewers. Joe <laughs> sets up the offense, looking to get him to a high pick and roll. Dumps it down to Macklin. He's got Martin on him. He picks up his drill. Nice Finds pass. the cutter for the wide open layup as he knocks it down. Yeah, as a teammate, you love it when your big man can keep, your, keep his eyes up. 
Joseph Some Kim on the cut there. So that on the press. A little bit of well. a defensive mix up there by the Orions. Yep. Looks like they're still forming that zone, maintaining the 2-3. They're trying out a few different looks here. Ooh, Suda avoids the defender and good effort. Time to airball a three. Yep. We've seen a few of those last yesterday. Four of them, if I'm, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. And here comes Martin the other way. Yeah, I mean, Back. the Kings, you're looking for a hot start. In group play, they went 3-0 and undefeated. And now they're down pretty big here. What yep. do you think? Yep. No, and interesting as they, they started off the tournament undefeated in both games in the elimination round, would you think the effort would be at its peak? Slow starts as they look to overcome a, an 11 point deficit. Maybe a case of uh, relaxing a little bit or taking their foot off the, the gas pedal. You never want to see. Maybe they don't like that we're on the sidelines, you know? <laughs> Viewers may not know, we did not do the commentary for the first three days of the tournament. <laughs> Saving the best for last is bad luck. Bad luck for them, huh? Here's Spencer controlling the action. Yep. Spencer putting the pressure on now, forcing the defender to come all the way out there as Macklin gets a high post touch. I like this matchup here, too. He's got it over both shoulders. He's more of a face up guy. Ooh. <laughs> Joe with a big flutter to get it over Brown, not able to get it to go. That's a. The refs are letting the play, huh? Things coming down the other way. Still not really well, looking pass. to get those first. That's a good oh, point. Yeah. Take it. Kenzo with the shot fake and drive, drawing the foul. Do you want to see him take that shot or do you like the shot uh, fake and drive to the basket? Honestly, I would have loved to see without that fake pass, just get it right to the corner, let him get about quickly. You're an all or nothing kind of guy, huh? Yeah, three. And that, that might have even been a bailout call there. Yeah. I think uh, as you see the, the deficit still holding for the Kings, but Macklin, the strong inside presence for the Orions, has really yet to pick it up. So is the worst yet to come? Do the Kings need to find something else to really keep pace with the Orions as they might look to open up the scoring through Macklin? Well, I think you got to look at the balance. Am I putting blame on Macklin or am I giving credit to the Kings? You know, they've been playing great defense, so it's hard to say. You'd love to get them a little more involved. That's a good pass. There's some of that great defense on him, giving up a wide open layup just in time to draw the foul as Joy manages to get his second and one opportunity of the evening. Yeah, he's active. Hopefully they can get a, a little bigger lead here, and one. One of those differences in style on full display is the Orion's not, not shy to push the ball, and it's created some easy opportunities. And we see a lot of times the King off the offensive rebound, slowing it down and maybe looking for some for some pick and roll action or some high low action as opposed to just easy baskets so they can get them. Yeah, that, that's part of the Kings down. game. Like we were saying last night, they only average 70 points a game, so the pace of play for them is not too quick. And if you get down early, that can become a problem. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. That's two for him. He really gets up. Putting Vernon Macklin <laughs> on a poster. Oh, Macklin didn't even jump. I don't blame him. In the shot as we get a regular right here. Look, Look sky over left. Macklin. No one in the tournament is stopping that. They say two points is two points, but some look better than others. <laughs> Dwarf Spencer Get the nice roll. getting to the middle, not getting his 15 See, now, to go. As if Brown they can run the floor. The rebound. Run the floor. King's coming back now the other way. Strength advantage here. The King's looking for the post up, not really there. Back over to the wing. As Kinjo tees up the three. Oh. And Hassan Martin gets the put back from Dazzling the fans with a dunk as we in this first half of the third place <laughs> consolation match. Man. Oh. You can't be happy if you're the coach of the uh, the Orions here. Somebody's we'll got to get a body on this guy. We'll see if that can generate a spark as there's a timeout on the floor. Ruku King still down nine, 29 to 20. Exciting game, exciting game. Taking a listen in, listen in on the huddle. で、ちょっとギリのところ入ってたのがちょうどこうなんか見れながら入ったらどうにいいぞ。このゾーンの時はもうどんどん空いたら打て打てでそうアブレッシュ。で、割りながら割りながらやって。オラオラ。ディフェ
You see here the strong effort by Martin. Now, apart from the obvious dazzling display of athleticism, equally concerning is probably the ability for him to get to the basket uncontested on a lot of the rebounds tonight. Yeah, I mean, if you give this guy a little bit of space to take off, he will do it. We're talking about the best rebounder in the tournament and consistently getting to the paint untouched, crashing the glass. You yeah. think, you'd think you'd, be, you'd be pegging this guy early and say, listen, I don't care who's getting the rebound so long as he does not. The scouting report certainly says box him out, and like you said, it doesn't matter if you get the rebound. The most important thing is that he does not get the rebound. And you look for that to change as the game goes on. Back now the other way. I'll tell you what, if the Kings are going to get back into it, and they certainly look like they are, they're going to keep up this ball pressure. Here comes Spencer. Spencer on the wing, over to Choi. And Careless. Ivor Brown asking the official, what did you do for dinner last night? <laughs> no, the place I went to was way overpriced. I should have stayed in Studio City. Nowhere better. Orion's ball back into Choi. Cleared out the floor for him here, guarded by Brown. Length against strength on that one. Choi shot face, gets a move to the basket. Nice, nice shot. little 15 footer that he gets to go. Nice and there's shot. that versatility from the wing player. Yeah, he's got he's got good motion, good active hands, good looking shot. Kings setting up their triple offense here as the Orion staying in that two to three zone or three two shifting zone. Coming yeah. up with a steal. Oh, watch out here. They're going to get Kinjo with the unsportsmanlike foul here. Probably thinking, sure, I fouled him, but I don't know if I, I don't know if it was malicious. Maybe a little bit of a sell job on the offensive player's part. Ooh, good hands. And you good can see it here. Two. Yeah, he fouled him. But <laughs> he, didn't, intentional. he didn't have to hit the deck on that one. Maybe sold it a bit. Rewarded those. Macklin heads to the bench for a bit of a breather. You know, he hasn't scored a lot, but he's, uh, he's been active. That's all you can ask for. If his guards are going to look for him to give him a few more shot opportunities, I think he'd be better off. And the Orion so far definitely getting good offensive possessions. Oof. As our he's resident really, weekend banker. <laughs> he's really throwing me off the bank. <laughs> the good thing for him, though, is he's getting to the line enough where he, he's established himself as a banking free throw shooter. First couple of times, you're thinking, Oh boy, this is just going to be rough to watch. <laughs> At this point, people are just kind of okay with it. Yeah, it's interesting. It's quirky. It's noisy. <laughs> it's noisy. And that way, if you miss bad, you still looks like you're banking it. <laughs> As we got a nice close-up of the bankers, the lone bankers in the audience there on their phones. <laughs> it's been a great atmosphere out here throughout the weekend and even earlier. Quick hands there by Kishimoto as he brings it back to the Kings. Finished kind it. Of a low M1. pass. I think he got away with a foul there. Ivor Brown on the glass, still working, manages to get it to go. I'll tell you what, lead back down to 10. Brown and Martin have really been working the boards. Even if you get a missed shot, they're still all over the place. Oh. Back up top to Troy. Man to man he defense. Hands it off now to Spencer. Spencer making a move to the basket. Pulls up for a deep two. Woo! Gets it to go. That's a tough shot. Off the dribble, a little bit of shimmy shake. For Spencer. So Spencer off to a good start. Yeah, he's carrying the load for them. Staying in that 3 2 zone. Good look, at, look at that skip pass. King's working the ball around, still trying to pass the perimeter to get through that zone. Now, to work, Spencer. It's got to be real asset. As we said, the Orions are getting good offensive execution, so they get a lot of easy shots. And on the broken possessions, he's able to give them. Right. He's, he's able to give them a, 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 a viable bit of a bailout. Shooting yeah. 60 percent so far from the field this, this evening. And that's certainly the way he wanted to come out after the showing last night. He's, he's made up for it here tonight. Pull up, not good for the Kings, with Ira Brown there for the cleanup. You know, it's like deja vu. Every time they miss a shot, these two guys are on the boards. They can't keep them off. Bit of a mismatch on the glass for the Orion. A strength advantage, yeah. Uh, look at him in the post. He's got it all over the place. The work Spencer with the turnaround, Jay. Bobbles around, not going. Hassan Martin with the rebound. Little heat check there. Up to Ira Brown. Passes it to the corner. Kings picking up the pace a little bit. Having a free throw offense here. Trying yep. to get the zone defense on its heels as Hassan Martin turns it around. And That's a tough look. This is it long. 
and he's going to Spencer back the other way. He's a maestro with the ball. <laughs> Spencer back to Choi, tees up a long three. And Bounce five, and five, down. Four, 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 play. <laughs> he's playing well. I wonder if there are any rules about guarding <laughs> a perimeter shooter. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably I mean, the last time we're going to have a don't foul the shooter joke. We've got a little bit bored with it, but nonetheless. No, I still need to say it. Don't, just don't foul the jump don't shooter. Don't foul the jump yeah. shooter. All right. Now you know. That's a tough one. That actually looks like he, just a just a contest that he happened across the arms. Yeah, it's one of those ones where you got to give him space to land, though. you got to sell it, too. True. Just looking at the rebounding score, 20 to 9, as very clearly evident in favor of the Kings. The majority yeah. of the points seem to be coming from offensive putbacks. Yeah, second chance opportunities. Uh, like you said, most of the work's been on the offensive end. So, still not not enough to keep it to keep them in the game really, as they now fall behind by 14 points. I'll tell you what might have been the issue is Armstrong was on the bench and they begin now rebounded. Now he's back in the game. Maybe things will change. In motion. Over the wing. See now the bench is calling out the shot clock running, running down. down again. Has to put up a prayer. Bottles around. Offensive Good work. rebound for Watanabe and he finishes it. So no. once again another offensive rebound leading to points. You got to think if they don't get any offensive <laughs> rebounds, they're down 30. They're down huge. I mean the, the tail of the first half, even though they're down, they got to get some stops on this end here. Work Spencer a little razzle dazzle rims in and out. Three. I say push the ball here. Good tip in by Kishimoto as he gets the save to himself, kicks it back up Big to the shot. wing. Three does not go. And Another offensive you know? rebound, and he's going to draw the foul. What do you know? I mean, if I'm the coach of the Orions, uh, I'm not taking this lightly. Say something about boxing out, perhaps. And there are a few things Christian takes lightly, <laughs> except for maybe everything. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's coach working the refs. He should be working his players to box out. Tashiro able to get the first free throw to go. They got two minutes left in this uh, this first half. If they get it down to about six or eight, in business. Keep the pressure up, keep hitting the boards. Tashiro converts on the second. So we've got a timeout on the floor. Ryan's taking a quick breather to go over a few issues. 38 to 28 in favor of the Orions. So far, a high quality, high quality game. I'd like to see it out of your third place match. Organizer offense, guys. Yep. Let's take a listen here. Use all the time. Use all the time if it's not a fast break chase. Run the horn this time. On is Coaching language coming out of the Orion's huddle doesn't really seem to be mentioning much of the rebounding, but continuing the emphasis on office, offense, encouraging his, shooter, his players to shoot more. Yeah, I think it may be a preseason. He's kind of, like we were saying, just trying to work through some of his sets. It may be if this is regular season action or playoff action, he's, he's letting his players have it, I'd say. The Orions do shoot a good field goal percentage throughout the tournament and typically in their, in their league play. A perimeter-oriented team, the shots are definitely there. They just happen to be getting good ball movement, which has led to some, some open looks. Yeah, the Orions, and not only that, they made a few tough shots as well, Spencer especially. Spencer still in the game, putting pressure on the defense. Look at that player screen. Ooh. Skips it back over, Ooh. makes a move, playing a little bit of the defense, <laughs> a little shake and bake, gets to the basket, dumps it off with the mid-range day. Not able to go, he's got another foul on the rebound. He's working for the rebound. He's got a good, he's got the ball on the string. We're going to get Watanabe, looks like. Nope, they're going to get uh, Hilton Armstrong. Off the ball, boxing out, and there you go, back and forth, getting his Steph Curry on. What does it mean to have a strong ball handler in your offense being able to put pressure on the defense? It's kind of like 
in my opinion, it's kind of like what you were talking about earlier. When there's a situation where the shot clock's running down and you can have him have the ball, you're not nervous about him turning it over. He's going to get a decent shot at the worst. And it and creates options for his teammates as well, doesn't he? Exactly, exactly. Spencer knocking down the first free throw. Knocks down the, the second shot. Also worth noting, 16 of the Kings' 28 points have come off second chance points. Emphasizing that battle of the boards in favor of the Kings, but also highlighting their inability to get points in the natural offensive sets. Yes, it's one of those things. You, you give credit to the Kings. Do you blame the Orions for not boxing out? It's probably a little mix of both. And Pretty again, good. as the shot clock winds down, not able to get a look and not even able to get a shot as they get another turnover. Yeah, the Kings player passed that ball to the advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not who you want to pass it to. Not who you want to pass no. to at all. No Red Bull jokes. Uh, we'll wait for the finals. So Ryan's coming back to set it up. Spencer again to the ball. He's getting a lot of touches early. He's a real shifty guy. You got to look in the corner there. Skips it over to Choi. Threatens on the wing. Long crossover. Gets it to the middle. Loses Lost. control on the way up. Ah, uh, it's a tough call. Oh, he gave him the out-of-bounds call. Yep. I thought he called it for a foul there, I was going to say. Yeah, it looks like he was going to call a foul. It's your call. Speaking with the, the official. He said it's your call, yeah, sir. Yeah, maybe don't tap him there. I think he's probably <laughs> going to Yeah, we got a uh, final matchup coming up, 9.30 after this. This is for third place. Obviously, all the marbles at stake in the secondary matchup. All the marbles? I haven't heard of marbles one <laughs> in a while. <laughs> hmm. Rounding out, rounding out the Orion's offense tonight. Oof. As the Kings get another turnover, they say, round, rounding out the offense for the yeah. Orion's is a, a well-balanced attack. As 28 of their points have come from the bench players. Yeah, the majority of their points. Um, that's always good news for the coaching staff. You want to see them take off, not just the first five players. They got a deep team here. Strong start for the Orion's. Definitely. Macklin definitely. now back in the game. What do you think the Kings got to do to get back in it, man? Orion's knocked down the two. I don't know, man. I asked you the question. You're supposed to come up with that. I just tell people what's happening as the Orions build their lead back to 14. I what think, do you think the Kings need to do? I think you're going to want to see Armstrong on the floor a little bit. This is one of those, like, I'm going to ask you the question. I've got the answer, but let's see. What... <laughs> if they just continue to, to hit the boards and get close shots, close range shots, and, uh, and second chance points, they should be okay, but they got to get some stops is the thing. They can't get any stops on defense here. Uh, moving away from the on-ball action there, but still getting the foul. Officials seem to be calling it a little bit tightly. Just want to end the clap, end the, uh, end the half clean, so. Number 26, Tay Joe checks into the game for the Orions. Give uh, Spencer a little break here, seven seconds till the end of the half. He's, played, a, he's played well. It's a nice break. Yeah. <laughs> Probably trying to keep him out of foul trouble. King's coming back in. See if we can get a good look. Oh, oh. Yeah. Ball stolen. Orion's good putting it, it up goes. the buzzer from half court. Oh. oh. That would have lit the place up. <laughs> Macklin still had his head up looking for the guy running down the court. Strong first half in the books for the Orions. 42 to 28, your halftime score. The Orions lead the Kings. Yeah, it's been quite a defensive battle so far. Uh, 28 points for the Kings. They're really not shooting too well from the outside. A lot of their points from the inside. And, and same case for the for the Orions, actually. Offensive. It really is a much different style offensively for both teams. The Orions getting a lot more execution as opposed to the offensive rebounding, offensive scoring for the Kings. Hey, Hassan, down by 14 points after the first half. Um, how are you going to change things around in the second half? Uh, first of all, we got to take care of the ball. You know, we got a lot of careless mistakes and careless turnovers, and um, we got to defend better. We got to contest open shots and rebound the ball. I know this is like a preseason tournament for you guys because your next game starts on next Friday. How do you like the Super 8 so far? Uh, so far, it's been a great experience. You know, it's been great competition. You know, great players from, from China, from Taiwan, from, from Japan. And um, as a rookie, you know, this experience has been great so far. Now, after the first half, you have 12 points, 5 rebounds. Are you happy with your stats? Uh, I could do more, you know, I'm never satisfied. So um, I'm looking to keep going in the second half and hopefully pull this one out. Good luck in the second half. 
And there you have it, Hassan Martin giving some interview words there. Yeah, you always like him to stay humble there. And we'll be right back after this cut. First half in the books. It's been an exciting matchup so far here at the Super 8. High quality basketball to go with some great entertainment offered by Studio City and Hassan Martin has been the, the lone source of entertainment, I gotta say, for the Kings as they are down early, 14 to the Orion Orions. But as you heard him there in the halftime interview, never satisfied, I can always do more, working on limiting the turnovers from the Kings. And also had some great things to say about the overall competition despite it being a preseason tournament. The Orions, on the other hand, led by Dewarik Spencer coming off the bench. He has had the hot hand early and a well-balanced attack as the bench has been dominant for the Orions. Capitalizing on those turnovers presenting, presented by the Kings. And now we've got Christian's favorite, <laughs> favorite attack of the evening. The move, the move. Look at these guys. They are absolutely insane. As I've always said, this seems to be Christian's natural <laughs> home. This is something he'd be very good at. I like to think I could be a member of the move. It's a cool act, and it's a great concept. You wonder, like, are they are they dancers? Are they entertainers? Are they good at basketball? What's, you know? <laughs> just just, just what, entertainers. What's, that, what's everyone's background? Just entertainers. Pure entertainment. This guy can really get off the floor, so keep an eye. You can never do that in a hat. It adds to the intrigue. <laughs> guys are in. They do this sort of stuff in about 25 countries. Oh, is that, that a first one now? Okay. I'm gonna figure out how to deal with those pauses. Welcome back. As we're still here with the move, tonight's halftime entertainment. Last night, Christian, you and I had a bet on the over-under of made and missed dunks. Missed dunks being two. <laughs> so far, we've got one. We've got one so far. He's putting this next one down. I got faith. I got faith. Come on, buddy. He's getting it. Yeah. A little stutter snap. Hey! Oh. Beautiful. Yeah, he's been warming up for a long time. Just like my video game. <laughs> he reminds me of uh, Hassan Martin out there. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Entertaining as it may be. Speaking of entertainment, have you done the the Batman roller coaster simulator they have here. I've heard nothing but good things. I haven't, so, I haven't funny, been able to check it out yet. <laughs> funny story, Chris and I actually got lost. Ooh, nice little jump over. You could definitely do that. Chris and I got <laughs> lost here on the first day as we were trying to find the, the crew and stumbled across a Batman roller coaster simulator that we've both been threatening to go do. Threatening, keyword. <laughs> you, you get distracted. Yeah, there's so much things to do in Studio City to after the noodle place. I think the cool thing about this tournament is it definitely, it's, it's, it's clearly been a, a wild success. Everybody's had a great time. Entertainment's been top notch. The basketball's been top notch. Yeah, you have stuff like this, and, and it's you know, it's great to emphasize what Macau has to offer, what Studio City has to offer, and you, you're excited for what's going to happen next year and what might come of it in other sports or you know entertainment venues around the city. Yeah, it's been a real positive atmosphere uh, all weekend long, even even Wednesday. You know, you know, Madonna performed here. Christian commentated here. There's a lot. There's a lot of good stuff. There's a few legends in the building at the moment. No one. I've never seen anybody land a backflip that well. Well, give me a few <laughs> minutes to warm up. Never seen me in the morning. Nice and listen up the guy in the rim here. What is the deal? They're gonna get another broken backboard. Do you think, like, for some, for some of these guys, they were doing basketball camps when they were younger, and they were doing some ball handling drills, and they were like, all right, now we're going to work on shooting, and they were all just, no, no, I'm going to keep doing this. Just give me just give me 20 years. I'll have a, an act organized here. Give me a little time. Let's see. Look, this will be good. Nothing over two guys. <laughs> oh, 
Harlem Globetrotters esque, I would say. <laughs> That's all you got? That's all I got right there. There's such thing as being so entertained you are rendered speechless. Those are good shows though, the Globetrotters. I've been to a few, yeah. They came to Hong Kong a few years ago when I was in high school, and I'd never been to a game, and I didn't realize it, it's more, it was more entertainment than basketball, but still, still a great show. Yeah, they bring a, a dummy team out, and I think their record is something like the a thousand. The Generals are not a dummy team. <laughs> they give their best effort every night. <laughs> the Washington Generals, right? Is that yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had, I want to say it was, was Sturge. Look at that. That's the one That's in the middle, cool. crazy. I've, I've never seen that cool. But they, yeah, they, remember there was this, it was Paul Sturgeon. I think this guy was seven foot eight, seven foot seven or so, and he would dunk without jumping. He had a short stint on the Globe Trotter. George Beerson. Is that the name you're thinking of? No, I, uh, said, I, I said Sturgeon. Okay. I know a few guys, maybe Yao Ming could come through and, and dunk it without jumping as well. Possibly. A lot of balance on display. How many basketballs do you think are in these guys' homes, respectively? Uh, I, I think it's just rooms full of basketballs. These guys love, <laughs> love balls. Just basketballs? They got beach balls, volleyballs. Pretty in, insane stuff going on here. I want to see if he puts this down. Woo! Give the rim a kiss. Love it. Love it. From Italy. The fans beating it up. From Italy, yes. Just a couple, the move. Of, a couple of Italians. The move, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at the highlights from the first half. Taking a look at the Orions. Taejong Moon spot number three here. He's been relatively quiet early, but still yeah. at it. Yeah, yeah you, want, you want to hear a little more, a little more from the headband in the second half. We'll see. Yeah, Ivor Brown as he makes, uh, pulls up the jump shot here. On the turnover from the shot clock violation, turnovers been the yeah. turnovers been the, the the story for most for the most part for the Kings. Yeah, in any matchup, you want to keep an eye on the turnovers and uh, and obviously limit them. Yeah, and again, we're seeing highlights here of Orion's getting the easy kind of looks that that they're working for all all night. Right, there's not not necessarily a lack of defensive pressure, but they're just they're comfortable. They're not really they're not really threatened by the passing lanes from the Kings. The Kings are. are are really having turnover troubles on, on their end. Yeah, I mean, sometimes the coach can draw good sets, but when you get a layup, you just got to take it, and they've been getting a lot of layups. Yeah, I think sort of they're they're preaching a good culture of ball movement and best shot win and take the best shot. I think also their defensive pressure has led to a lot of easy baskets, which gets it going. And this there is you go. Hassan Martin at the beginning of what <laughs> promises to be the short yeah, there you see that. The short lived dunk flurry here. Who are yeah. expensive than putting on a good show from the outside? Doesn't need to be that much. Further past half court to tee it up. The work, door Spencer has range when he walks in the gym. Yeah, yes he does. Again, also known as a limited range. Hassan Barton show. One of the most exciting two minute stretches of the tournament. Yeah, not uh, including that the move halftime show is very exciting. Yes, the Kings look to put on a little bit of a run here. Almost to climb back into the game. Almost got another one. But. Well, that was Ivor Brown there at the follow, but again, Ivor Brown and Hassan they yeah, they both been active. Crashing the glass hard, and what's kind of been keeping oh. them as close as possible. A little shimmy shades of Kevin Durant on that move. The work Spencer just been too much offensively, along with the quality execution and knockdown shooting from the Orion. Nothing to say there. Good pace here for Spencer. But again, it's just, yeah. it's just a consistent demonstration of like, getting the shots that they want. I was going to say the refs sometimes on the ball. Oh, here you go. Take a look at the stats. So far, we're seeing a huge advantage of field goal percentage for the Orions. 48% to 32 for the three-pointers have been going for the Orions <laughs> to the 0 for 9. Yeah, you, you can't do much worse than 0%, but they're making up for it on the rebounds. 23 to 9, that's a huge advantage and something the Orions got to take care of. Also knocking down a considerably larger amount of free throws with a high percentage. 12 of 14 for the Orions and 6 of 8 for the Kings. Battle the rebounds, clearly going to the Kings, dominated by Ira Brown and Hassan Martin. But again, showing there the ball movement and the teamwork from the Orions. 10 to 3 in favor 
yeah, of the KBL team from Red. As we said earlier, the second unit came in and really did well. You can take a look at the key, the, uh, the key players. Absolutely. Notable players for the first time. Hassan Martin, as we saw at halftime, 12 points and 6 rebounds. Ivor Brown adding 8 rebounds of his own and 6 points, which is for the most part come from effort and hustle. Dwarak Spencer off the bench, pouring in 13 in the first half, along with 3 rebounds and 3 assists. And Jinso Choi, number 5, the long, lanky wing player, adding 11 points, including that 4-point play. One rebound. And yeah, if, uh, if Martin and Brown can continue this pace and, and keep on hitting the boards, they're going to get 40 rebounds between them. Right. Right. And once again, to remind you that we're coming to you live from Studio City, one of the newer integrated resorts here in Macau that has so much to offer in terms of chain, entertainment, cuisine, lifestyle, enjoyment. Anything you want is on display here. You can get it all. As I said before, we came here a little bit early just to enjoy it and there's really just not much of a shortage of what you can do. I think one of the nice things about this resort, this integrated resort, and things for venues like it is that you can kind of manufacture the, the getaway you want to have, right? Yeah, it's a good family destination. It's actually fun for all ages. Great service. Yeah, during, during the week you see you see a lot of different people from all around all around Asia, all around the world, and then so we, this weekend, just around the arena, we've seen a lot of families going on having a good time. We saw this the Batman roller coaster. There's a good Warner Brothers kids section that has a lot to offer. One of the things I love about Macau is you get people from all over the world, you know? Yeah. And again, spitting distance within the rest of South East Asia. It's been a fantastic host and a beautiful venue for this inaugural Super 8 tournament. And of course, bolstering the great activities and everything that Studio City has to offer is with a high quality. That's what they do it for, right there. Basketball. That is what they're playing for, the Super 8 trophy. You know, they got eight teams to Super 8, but really at the end of the day, there's only one who can claim that title of Super. So working on that one all night. <laughs> and that's a, a reminder that the zone. championship game for that trophy and for all the marbles that Christian has added to the stakes will be played at 9.30 between the Guangzhou Lions and the Chiba Jets. That guard play matchup is going to be exciting to see. Very exciting. Also some strong inside players as Gavin Edwards and Barusis look to battle it down low. Baru. I'm with my man, Orion's, uh, the Orion's uh, Munte right here with me. Up by 14 points. Are you happy with the lead? Yeah, we're happy. Um, we're playing a smart game right now, and uh, hopefully we can hold them on defense in the second half. That's the last day of the tournament. How do you like the Super 8 so far? Um, it's great. It's a nice uh, experience to come to Macau and uh, see some basketball here, and uh, we're enjoying it. Thank you very much. Good luck in the second half. That was Jung Moon. And uh, sounded like a little bit of a Busan accent there from the southern tip of southern Korea, right, Christian? <laughs> I'm no expert, but I'd agree. <laughs> you always like to see Emil doing his work. Oh, he's, a, he's a great player, though. He's fun to watch. Taejong Moon. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. is. He's got a good stroke from the outside. And, and like we were saying, if he starts in a few from the outside, now he can go right around you. Yeah, I mean, what, I think what makes them particularly fun is any any number of those players can provide quality <laughs> entertainment just taking care of one another and a quick shot of me and christian right now <laughs> but well now let's uh yeah i was just saying they've, they've they've played great team basketball has provided yeah the assists show that 10 assists to i think three only for the kings which does not bode well for them going into the second half they want to switch that up god i think they're you know, picking up that field goal percentage as well, 34%, leaves a lot of opportunities to get rebounds, but you'd like to see those possessions that's translated like, to points yeah, earlier. That's a great point. If you're shooting that poorly, then the chances are you might be winning the uh, the rebounding battle, huh? Yeah, and of course, Hassan Martin, who's been playing stellar basketball all throughout the tournament, shooting five attempts in the field to help with his, him get up here. Get his 12 points. Defense, up. offense, rebounding, athleticism. The thunderous slams Kiss to the, the sky. crowds. Kiss in the sky Kiss and the, the rim. Sky. And one of the more exciting players to watch, not just in this tournament, but this this region of the world and professional basketball in general. Yeah, he's a great athlete. Truly professional athlete. All right, and here we go, beginning to start the second half of the third place match of the Super 8. Yuku Golden Kings leading off with possession. They look to build 
or sorry, come back from that 14-point deficit. Yeah, you want to get a good first possession here coming out of the half. Let's see what they've drawn up. Kishimoto setting up the offense for the Kings. Come off looking to shoot. You got to. There's that high horns action leading to those screen and rolls. Interesting. Ivor Brown down to Hassan Martin. Here you go. He's playing with Macklin. If he puts up the left-handed hook, doesn't get it to go. Macklin's got to know he's left-handed there. You can't let him go over that shoulder. But a good start, strong offensive set. Getting yeah. a shot that I'm sure they drew up in the huddle. No turnovers. Got to be happy with that. Yeah, I was just going to say it's interesting. They uh, they they didn't start on strong again. Macklin finding Moon in the cut inside. And once again, quality execution of a half of the Ryans as they build their lead now to 16. Yeah, so Macklin's only got a few, a few points here, but he's actually keeping his eyes up real well. I was just going to say Macklin not scoring much in the first half, but looking to be aggressive throughout the game will probably establish his presence, assuming it's needed yeah. in the second half. Yeah, well, if you got the lead like this, you know, you just play the game as it comes. Nice take. Right, to the basket, doesn't get it to go for Kishimoto. They're just not getting the same kind of quality of looks as the, uh, the Orions are. Back to Moon, who cuts again. He's really finding his... his his offense in the lanes as he cuts around. Yeah, the Kings are doing a little bit of what uh, what's called ball watching, where when the ball goes to one side of the floor, they turn their head, and, and Moon's just taking advantage of going right behind their back. Yeah. See there, Moon squeezing by his defender. Probably a little bit too much of help. Out of position. And Moon again over to Macklin on the elbow. See, he's got his eyes up here. He's looking for the shooter. Troy with the flare screen over to Moon as he knocks down the three that was contested, but still not phasing him at all. Uh, that's another assist for Macklin. I wouldn't be surprised if he's got four or five already. Dangerous time now for the Kings is needing the momentum to keep within spitting distance of the, the Orions. Yeah, and, 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 and for a big man to have that kind of assist number is, is kind of remarkable. They don't usually get the ball to, to facilitate that much. Brown up top over to Hale, who puts up a long three, Good gets look. it to go. That was a much needed lift for the Kings. Yeah. You give me a three, I'll give you one right back. Choi coming back now for the Orions. Yeah, they're really looking to force the action with Moon here. Here he is. Sorry, this is Choi now. Choi the shot fake. Good take. 18 footer gets it to go. And he's been a consistent offensive shooter throughout the tournament as well. Yeah, they have a lot of weapons. It's a real balanced attack. Kishimoto over to... And see, they're Martin swarming on defense, Brown. man. You do see the defensive pressure much stronger, apart from that one. <laughs> stronger on the Orion's end as they tip around the rebound and come up with it. Looking for the rim run. Look at him. Look at Orion's Matt. still pushing. Nah. Choi puts it up, and he gets bailed out by the call. Bailed they're out. Gonna, they're going to flag... Shiro with that one. Yeah, that's a tough call. He, he's moving a little bit, but he's got his arm straight up. You can see here. Soy taking a ah. strong take. Maybe you got him. In the basket. <laughs> yeah. That little down. blow to the face right after. Thanks for the foul, sir. Substitution. Kinjo will come into the game. For Tashiro. Tashiro? Either or, my friend. Either or. No, it's one of them. They can't both play. Choi converts to the first free throw. Be curious to see what time, what point in the game they bring Spencer back in. They've got a good 19 point lead here. He might take a break. Warwick Spencer contributed 13 points in the first half. He's made his role on this team thus far as a six man coming in off the bench, providing an offensive spark. Yeah, a lot of that, a lot of that lead has got to be attributed to him. He's really been playing well. They're just they're getting into the sets a little bit slower. They're not as crisp on offense here, the Kings I'm talking about. And uh, and now they've already wasted half the shot clock and no looks at the basket. Tashiro puts it up in the long the tip back for Hassan Martin. Once again, offensive offense can only really coming from the offensive rebounds. Yeah, I can almost guarantee you the Orion's coach told him to box out, but strong take to the basket there. Good take. Kang Sun Kim with the drive. Yes, that's the kind of aggression I like to see. I don't care if it goes in or not. Oh, from Suda Ivor Brown with the rebound. At what point do you say, let's not run offensive sets, <laughs> just throw it up there. We're probably going to get the rebound, <laughs> and we'll get 14 seconds back of our time. Yeah, as long as the Kings don't turn the ball over here, they get the ball in the rim, they have a pretty good chance of getting the offensive rebound. Macklin's got to do a little more work there on the defensive rebound. What do you think? Macklin finding the open shooter on ice. Three. Told you not to ask me questions, Christian, and the O'Ryans adding to their lead.
spreading it to 21 now. And that's Macklin with another assist. Macklin really facilitating and being patient as the floater doesn't go. Possibly a case of the Pursuit Kings up. looking too much into the scouting report and not playing the game because you know Macklin's a scorer coming in. They, uh, they're defending him super hard, so he's just looking for his teammates. And Moon there looking to take advantage of the mismatch, but Suda gets the foul. And you see here, this is a, he's a versatile wing. He's it's a mismatch. Established his, uh, his presence last night as a shooter, but again, as, as the game went on, very patient, very smart player, understands where he can get his shots, and that's an example of him getting down to the post and recognizing a mismatch where he has it. Another player with a good poise. And a good headband. All right, we got one more headband. <laughs> nice stroke. See? Help. Oh, jinxed him. I've been doing that all, all weekend. Tournament. <laughs> call him out. I see him, man. I should have you call my bonus. <laughs> Start budgeting for it now. King's back the other way. Oh, steal! Let's Matt. see if he can finish. finish. To say, I'd like to have some action here. Aye, 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 aye. Pass deflected. Good, good hustle getting back there by the Kings. He's got a good point. He's telling his teammate to keep running down the floor, but you got to get that pass to him. Nidamia playing the lane, not letting easy, anything easy through there. It's the big guy playing the lane here, getting out. Let's see what they have on the inbound. Not much action there. Maxwell posting up. Still looking for the cutter. He's got two options. Got his eyes open. That's another assist. Gets it down low. It's a change off. He is picking up a part. And so far, it's been all Orion's. As Macklin, the big guy, gets his seventh assist of the night. Yeah, unreal. Good eyes on him. Strong facilitator. And it has been a dominant performance for the Orion's. But I got to say, well deserved. Very well, well played basketball. Yeah, you want to you want to see him start hitting some outside shots. Uh, they made one three so far. Take a look in here what the coaches have to say. Wait for the screen. Wait for the split. If not, clear out. Or corner. The eyes up. Yeah, this is you want to see. He's grinning when he's got the ball. He sees he's, the people are cut. He's, he's, he's a potent offensive powerhouse, but again, the maturity and the patience of the poise to just understand, read the offense, where's the opportunity going to come? Yeah, All like eyes I, are yeah. on him, and he sees the cutters. Yeah, like I was saying, sometimes the defense get caught ball watching, which you don't want to do. You want to keep your eyes on, I know it sounds difficult, but on the ball and your man. Can't lose him. I have to say, I mean, it, every team here has obviously been very competitive as the finest teams from around Asia have been invited but the Orions have probably had a tougher tougher schedule as their two losses have come from contenders so teams that are playing for the finals and narrowly contested games as well yeah and I think they're really they're really showing nice against lob. Oh, lob doesn't go, but they're showing against the team that went undefeated in group stage that they're they're making mincemeat of what they have to offer yeah, that's the luck of the draw sometimes. you got to play who's in front of you, and uh, it doesn't always work in your favor. Macklin up top with the action, looking to pass it off. See, now they're up on him, not letting him get that pass off. It's a little easier to pressure a big guy there, as you get up. Ooh, oh, a, a dog dog ball. Ball. comes back to clean it up with Macklin's there on the offensive end. He's everywhere. I think Martin blocked that twice. And no matter what, even on a good defensive possession, nice. the Orion's coming nice. up with a basket as they come up with a steal here. Good hustle. Before sending it right into Matt Baird at the booth. The infamous Matt Baird. <laughs> the brain trust behind this. That's one guy you don't want. <laughs> the one guy you don't want to touch the ball there. He's got a real dangerous jump shot. <laughs> the ball goes back to the Kings. Now, these inbounds plays, you want to see him look to get a good shot here. Something aggressive, not just look to get the ball inbounds. People do that a lot. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they set up a play so that the ball handler just gets the ball in the backcourt, which I, I, I prefer to see him like that. You want to see him get something towards the hoop, I, I think. You're saying. Yeah. There you go. Fair point. Very conservative basketball, to be honest, from the Kings. Kinjo puts up a three and doesn't get it to go. Yeah, they're not shooting well from the outside, so it's tough. Failed save there by the O'Briens. You know, when you're not shooting well from the outside, 
you can really sag off as a defense, and that makes things a lot easier to pack the paint, shut down the driving lane. Toy posting up here. I like this Wants matchup. Ball early. Waves off Macklin, clears him out as he looks nice. to take advantage. Ah. Passes it to Macklin inside, he draws the foul. Maybe a bit of a bailout, but once again, good offensive execution from the Orions. I like that call. He kind of jumped a little bit into him. No problem with that call. Good to see both the big men looking for each other, though. When one of them goes baseline, as you see here. Yeah, here's the action. Choi goes baseline. Macklin's coming around the top. And Macklin, that's that yep. the action you typically want to see out of your on the on the post play is guy goes baseline and your opposite post is going to want to go high right if they go middle the post is going to want to fade behind the basket play that baseline right yeah ian hosford specialty <laughs> look at those numbers that's a well-rounded game for very well-rounded and the numbers don't show what he's been doing on the defensive end which is another plus for him He's the general out there for him. Anchoring the defense and also clearly playing his role offensively. He's letting the game come to him, which I actually like all the Orion's players. You know, Spencer, the guy Moon, this guy Macklin, they're all letting the game come to him, yeah. not, not forcing anything. You know, I, to be honest, you kind of you give it credit to you give credit to the Orion's management, right? It's good. That's good talent acquisition. Understanding your culture and your team. Where you, what do you want? Well, I want to get a big guy who knows his role, doesn't Look overreach, it. and is always, always facilitating, and I want to get an offensive score that I can, I can bring off the bench and, and still keep my offense potent, right? Because Nina yeah. doesn't get the, the two-pointer to go. There's there's certain types of players you're looking to get as a club, and, and you want them to all want to share the ball with each other and enjoy enjoy spending time on the court yeah. with each other. Yeah, and I mean, like, the staple the staple of international basketball is also nice shot. talent acquisition, as Hassan Park knocks down the elbow shot. Because See, so much of the so much of the talent does come from the imports and there are all these, there are these rules and limitations on who you can get that getting the right players becomes half the battle and it's almost as if the management office is just as important as the talent you have on the floor. A lot of physical play there. Yeah, I agree completely. One of the, one of the interesting things there you see is the Kings coach asking for full court pressure like they did against the Lions to a little bit of success. Good take doesn't go for Tuyama for the Kings. They've got numbers here. He's running. Unlucky roll. Choi gets it down and goes up to the slam and says JK just uh, laying it up. It looks like he got hit on the wrist and wanted a foul. Nevertheless converts on the basket as the Orions are having just a cakewalk through this game. Yeah, the, the Kings look like they might be laying over here. They're, they haven't been hitting the glass like they used to in the first half, and uh, they're down big. Yeah, I want to be fair to all the teams in this tournament, especially the Kings, because they've, they've given us fantastic basketball. But the last two games that they played, you have to think the effort was probably the biggest issue. It wasn't so much an X's and O's thing. But this is a team that dominated group stages. And will, as of right now, if you stop the scoreboard, would an aggregate lose by about 40, 50 points. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, so like it, between yeah. the scores from last night yeah. and, and tonight. I think one of the main things you don't want to see from a team, although uh, it is acceptable in preseason, is uh, inconsistency. So you win your first three, and then you come out in the games that truly matter, and you lose the next two. It's, it's uh, not a good thing. Right. Armstrong now checking back into the game for the Kings. He's also an interesting story because a great talent, great size and athleticism. When he was first drafted into the NBA, was kind of seen as a, as a project, but but also a player that had great potential because of his mobility and his athleticism. Yeah, exactly. He's and got, yeah, go ahead. I just, you, you think, well, you wonder, so what's the role going to be? And of course, in the preseason tournament, they're still trying to feel that out. I'm but. not sure if, uh, if maybe he was late to a team meeting or something, but he hasn't, he hasn't got too much time tonight. He hasn't, has he? <laughs> the Kings are going to need to get, I mean, if, they, if there's going to be a chance to climb back in the game, you're thinking, you're thinking threes? I, I mean, one for 16 so far. And to be honest, they haven't been really close. Watch them make that one. Though, I'm speaking Steps about on it. the line and it's only worth two, so they cannot build on that one for 16 stat. Tough luck. From three. See, I, I wanted to give a little more pressure here full court. If, if you're going to be down big, you might as well go out swinging. Here's the matchup I want to see. He wants the ball. Give it to him. You see Macklin posting up. He's asking Just for the ball. Almost at the three-point line, though. He's asking for the ball. There you go. And Macklin one. going strong. And there must have been something said. That was the most aggressive we've seen Macklin at the basket. He wanted to go right at Armstrong as soon as he got the ball. Well, I'll say this. You know... As a basketball player, you know when somebody's been NBA level or above, and if you have him guard you, you want to show him what the deal is. I'm just saying, watch their communication. I think there's some 
I mean, there's something going on there. Little beef? Little beef. All right. Little beef. People I'll still keep, say that? I'll keep an eye on it. I said that I said that like last year, and somebody said people don't say that. It was you, I think, who said people don't use that anymore. You don't have beef with anybody. I, I, I never have beef with anybody. You're a vegetarian. That's probably why. Yep. Only way to go. That's why we go to all these noodle shops. <laughs> well, they do have the best the noodle shops here good. in <laughs> Studio City, Macau. <laughs> Max has got a little hitch in his uh, his free throw. He's all about the technique is Christian Bullen. What do you think? Are we looking for are we looking for Armstrong to come back the other way? Never mind. I'd say Max I'd say on the bench now, so at this point we're looking for words to the next game. <laughs> Which as we know for the Kings is gonna be on Friday as they begin their season. You know, to have thirty nine points, forty one points here is it's just not enough. Excellent take. Gian with the finish there, getting to the basket. Yeah, that's what you want to see more of. Strong take to the basket. He's had a good game. Quick, explosive player. Provides a good punch off the bench. Yeah, so even if you're down big here, if you're the coach for the Kings, you want to get your role players in, see if anybody can show you something. Yeah, Cheng Lu Soy there with the hook in the middle of the paint. Armstrong calling the plays out here. He doesn't look too happy about something. Double screen action. Here he comes. I think he's got a roll there with his hands up. Good. Another take by Tsuyama there. Going to the basket. And Christian, while we're previously mentioned the Orions having a, doing a great job of providing finding imports that fit in with the system. What are kind of the challenges you'd look to you look to overcome, or you're going to face no matter who you get when you're recruiting imports for some of these for some of these teams. Yeah, from from the outside looking in, I know one of the main concerns is the language barrier. But basketball is one of those universal languages where when you get on the court, you kind of figure it out from there. I know some of the teams have hired translators. In my experience, I like it when the players kind of translate and talk and work through it together. Yeah, and actually, I'm. Using a little bit of a cheat sheet here, I'm going to conversation with Matt Bayer again, kind of the, the brain trust behind the initiation of this tournament, who has been an agent out here in in Asia and mostly for the CBA for a few years. And he, if you have a conversation with him, you talk about what what are you what are you looking for? And the number one issue that a lot of the CBA teams have with the players is they have to want to be there. Right. A lot of the guys initially, the money's Ooh. very attractive. Big the level of play is very attractive. You see the Kings trying to get some momentum here. It's a halfway chapter, but you want to right. You, you want to find guys that want to be there. Yeah, and it's, it's not so it's not almost so easy. These are all very different countries from what the sort of experience and what these guys have grown up with. Yeah, final seconds here. Yeah, like you're saying, a lot of the guys are using this kind of platform as a stepping stone because they're all talented players and they're trying to make it to the next level, especially as an import player. But. You can't just have a player on the court looking for himself, looking for his numbers. That's never what you want to see. Right and I don't think we have seen that in this tournament. I think it's been a pretty good job by, by all, all people involved. Right. Look at that corner three. Got it. Quarter. Good good puts it up. Oh! Originally it looked like it was blocked. That was a block. They're going to get it for the foul. Tough call. Can we get a replay of that? Kim pleads his case with the officials unsuccessfully. And what do you not want to do, Ian? I don't want to buy overly priced popcorn. <laughs> you don't want to follow or the overly buttered popcorn. Oh, that's another one. I don't want to follow the jump shooter. Kim jo <laughs> Sorry, Kinjo knocks it down. And he's going to get two more free throws here. Kinjo knocks it down. And once again, as this quarter wraps up, Right after this, we have the championship of the Super 8 coming to you live at 9.30 between the Guangzhou Lions and the Chiba Jets. Promising to be an exciting matchup and wrapping up a competitive week of basketball. The Orions looking to get it in for the last shot. Forced to heave it up. Very respectable attempt at a three-quarter court shot from Dosu Kim. 69-44, leading Orions.
Look at that. We'll take a listen in on what the coach is up to say. Taking a look at the stats through the three quarters. Leading to that commanding lead for the Orions is at the forefront of their field goal percentages. They've gone 22 for 42 from the field to the Kings 17 to 55. Just good enough for 31%. The three pointers have been a real struggle for the Kings as they have not been able to hit much of anything, going one for 17 from behind the arc to the Orions dominating six of 10, brought about through quality execution. Also getting plenty of free throws and going 79% on their attempts to the Kings seven, or sorry, excuse me, nine of 11 on free throws. As previously has been the case throughout the entire game, the rebounds have gone to the Kings 33 to 21. But the commanding difference in assists, 17 to 6, Christian, has got to be the single stat you can look at and say that is where the game is. Look at the star players now. Hassan Martin, 16 points. Jinso with 17. Welcome back as we get ahead, get going in the fourth quarter, the final quarter, the third place match, just ahead of the championship final again at 9.30. Dwarf Spencer now setting up the offense for the O'Riens. Hey, you want to keep an eye on him here. He's had a long break on the bench. Might be a little, uh, little cold. Macklin now nope. in the offense to the high post. Back door cut to Spencer, gets an easy layup. Don't have to be warm for that, do you, Christian? No, easiest shot in the game right there, Ian. That'll and be another assist. Yeah, I was just going to say, challenge. Macklin's keeping his head up. He's got another assist. Might be on his way to a double-double here with an assist. Kings the other way, pulling up for three. It's going to fall short. Tip back before it even hit the rim. Brown's right there. Just like they drew it up, Ian. And Brown leading in the huddle before the game, or sort of, excuse me, before the quarter, saying, we can't just score, we have to get stops. Mm. We'll see if they can come back and put some smothering defense on Vernon. Well, let's see if he's a, if he's a man of his word. Let's see if he can get a stop here. Ooh, Ooh a poor closeout and a strip down. Spencer gets a the dump off. Ball bobbling around a little bit. Ah, uh, you gotta watch out for people going. King's right. coming up with it, coming back the other way. Gotta get a score here. Two on break as Sayama makes the pass and finishes it for himself. Continuing strong heading play from the bench guard. Kind of a matador defense there. The block, and this is the replay of Ivor Brown. Oof. Not waiting for the rebound to come to him. Got a solid handle on the ball. See, they're really looking to force Macklin here, and he's got his eyes out looking for shooters. So much of the Orion's quality offense has come out of the post, whether it's from scoring from Macklin nice. or it's that passing as he misses the hook shot there. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. You don't usually see teams, as he takes it right down the middle, you don't usually see teams run the offense through the big man like that and, and ask for him to pass the ball. Seeing the urgency now out of the Kings is they're not able to get any of the putbacks to go. And Maybe. at what point is it just frustratingly unlucky? A couple of layups have been rimming in and out for the Kings. Yeah, I was going to say, if we've seen a few more in and outs, I might buy that, but they've had a few bad misses as well. They're getting outplayed. I guess 23 points is more than a few in and outs. Yeah. They're, <laughs> yeah, they're getting outplayed here. But, you know, it happens. Preseason. Draft asking for hands off. Oof. Now, I'm not sure if you can set that back screen there like that. Let's see what they're going to hit with a lot of contact there. Both teams feel like they have a case to be made. As Kishimoto and Tsuyama are both good to go the lane. Yeah, shake hands with each other. Move on to the next playoff. Yeah. Tsuyama going over and making sure the player is okay. Chun. Yeah, it's kind of been the case all tournament. These teams are happy to compete with each other. Uh, it's been nothing but the highest, highest level of competition. Couple of subs. Well, Ryan's now setting up the offense. 
One of the dangerous things for the Orions is they don't want to go into their waste time offense. Tight offensive execution yeah. leading to an open shot knocked down by Tejo for the Orions. I'm not sure what kind of defensive strategy that was. Fan defense, front row seats for these guys, huh? <laughs> Let's see, there you go. Long skip pass over to the corner. You gotta get that Kings shot puts off, up there the you three, go. Gets it down, and Ira Brown had an uncontested follow and laying on the rebound, which would have been nice if he got it. But <laughs> three points for the two. Yeah, as finally. As Christian's third grade teacher taught him. <laughs> That's right, he was learning addition in third grade. Finally, they get a three to go. It might be a case of too little too late. Right, they teach addition in Florida, right? Uh, not Apologies. well. Don't ask me any more addition questions. <laughs> Apologies to anybody if you're listening from Florida. Greatest state in the, uh, the USA right Son now. Son Martin with the rebound as we overcome that lie with quality Kings <laughs> basketball here. Good take. Cut down the middle for Son Martin. Good movement. You don't want to get any fouls. No injuries here. It's actually a long skip pass there. Yeah, finally an open look for the Kings. Kishimoto knocks down that three. He's got his eyes up. Once again, the offense Looking being initiated for, yeah. from the post by Macklin as he squares up Martin. Over it. Too easy. Gets the basket for a strong move. Great footwork out of the big guy. If you're going to be Ira Brown, and you told me he's talking about getting stops, correct? Yeah, but that was Martin on the defense. Yeah. Well, it goes for every player involved. You know, don't just talk about it. You got to be about it. <laughs> talk about it, be about it. Ivor Brown on the take there, getting tied up, drawing the foul. He'll go to the line for two. Once again, as is the case for a large majority of the possessions, offense being run out of Macklin in the post. And here we see a great take by Brown initiating the contact. That's probably the action that would have been yep. better for them at the beginning of the game. Yeah, and on that foul call there, I mean, that that's tough. I see his point why he's arguing. Yeah. The good news for fans, though, is for the first time ever, the Super 8 will be instituting a 20-point free throw on the second. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> One can only hope it'd be a big shot, and he missed it. That's uh, in the U.S., the, the ABA, if you steal the ball before it crosses half court, you get an extra point on to whatever you score. So three-pointers are with four and twos are with three. It's called 3D, the official call, for those of us who... Well, you learn, some, in there. learn something new every day, Ian. Yeah. They still use those ABA tricolor balls, too. Excellent. Reminds Spencer me of the, the uh, basket. Nice it down. Reminds me of the halftime entertainment, the move group, oh, using the those move. ABA balls. Those Maybe that's good. how they were spinning them so easy. Those are good balls. <laughs> You're the expert. <laughs> Ishizaki now with it. Corner three the again. Over the it. corner, wide open for the Kings. Ah, you got to knock it down. Back them to the rebound. See, now they're going to look to maybe take some time off the clock, finish this game strong. Spencer looking for a little bit of a window Ooh, down there. The no-look pass. Anytime they can get Macklin down there on that right block, he's having a good time finding his teammates. And when he doesn't find his teammates, he usually scores them. So, maybe just no-look here. Macklin maybe not fully ready, ready for the uh, <laughs> there. timeout on the floor. Wheels and one, two, three. Well, just under six minutes left in the game. You can actually hear Macklin there begging his teammates, which they have been doing, cut off the block, he's saying. So when he's on the block, yeah, definitely looking for Once again, next match, that is right after this at 9.30, local time for the tip-off, the Guangzhou Lions against the Chiba Jets for the Super 8 champion. One of these teams will go home with the rights to say we were the first ever Super 8 champions. Yeah, you only get first once, and, and I can't wait to see that matchup between the guards and uh, the Lions and Jets. It's going to be a great, great matchup. Back out of the lane as they now get it to Spencer for the post-up, drives middle to the baseline, skips it back out around the perimeter. Orion's continuing with that good ball movement. Good action. Ooh. Ooh. Watch out. Chun getting a strong take, drawing a lot of the contact there. Good sportsmanship. 
wondering who the foul is on. See Brown getting a block there. <laughs> Always want to be careful there under the hoop. Watch out for people taking out each other's legs. Like they got Brown with the foul there. And uh, much to his dismay. Ah, he's smiling. He loves being down 24 to 25. <laughs> Good attitude is key. I'd love to know what those two are saying to each other, huh? Spencer and, uh, and Brown. There's got to be a good bond between a lot of these import players. I mean, to be honest, the, the contracts tend to be so short-lived because the market's quite profitable for import players, and they're always they're fulfilling a need, not necessarily one particular role, right? So they're quite mobile. They run into each other a lot. I think it was, what, Hilton Armstrong was playing on the Chiba Jets in the B-League last year in Japan? Yeah, I think so they all have, yeah. I think they all have a common understanding and, and understand the journey. That Florida is not the greatest state in the United States. <sighs> Kings ball. <laughs> Oop. Stumbling over his foot a little bit. Stay Probably just as they, as they drew it up because he gets the wide open <laughs> shot. Doesn't get it to go. And Martin with the rebound, draws the foul, and he will go to the line for two. Now, Ian, you're a West Coast guy, so you're a little biased. I just went to school there. <laughs> Got him right across Parents the yard. Parents of Utah. Mm. Dry. <laughs> In every sense of the word. <laughs> Martin able to knock it down. Let's let's agree on something, though. I don't the know. Worst if, I don't know if we were. Texas, though. <laughs> Everybody, the Lone I've, Star never met, State. I've never met somebody from the quote-unquote Lone Star State <laughs> that hasn't had the greatest things to say about something nobody really brags about unless they're from there. Yeah, they say everything's bigger in Texas, and uh, certainly the humble of the Texas <laughs> residents is not my, bigger my in Texas. Went to, my brother went to college in Texas, and he wouldn't stop talking about the barbecue. And my mom, who is, to be honest, like as liberal as they come and doesn't really like going to the U.S., <laughs> is why they've been out here for more than 20 years. Loved it. Couldn't stop raving about Texas. So, yeah, sounds like one of well, those stories where maybe you had We're to be there. People, yeah, love Texas. Big Texas, big Texas Pete fan too. Hot, good hot sauce. What's that? Texas Pete, little hot sauce. That's a hot sauce brand. There's so many at this point. <laughs> and bringing you back to our 20, 25 point blowout here. Kings coming back now. Looking to set up, you're looking for the rest of the game. What are you trying to get out of these last four and a half minutes? Uh, for both, and this goes for both teams. You just want to finish the tournament strong. This is the last game for these guys. Yep. Um, the game's over, but you know, no injuries, play hard, and and just get out of here safe. Do you want to maybe leave some of your imports on and, and give guys sort of the, some of that chemistry advantage, give them time to get feel each other out? Uh, you're looking at garbage time right now, so I'm actually a little surprised that some of the main players are still in the game. Right. Just curious that Ivor Brown is you know, obviously still in, yeah. in the game. You want to protect him, but also that's probably a player that's going to be on the floor a lot during the season. Some of these guys are probably going to be called up during big games or special games right. where they need them, and they're going to have to have that chemistry. So minutes like this could actually turn out to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a difference maker. That's a bad pass. You can kind of tell that the, uh, the Kings coach has been playing with the lineups and seeing, seeing what works best, and obviously tonight was not, not their best effort. Good spin. That's a strong move there, drawing the foul against Brown, who does not agree. He's been arguing, that's, that's a tough call for him, because he's kind of got a mismatch here. He's about a head shorter than Macklin. He's giving it his best shot. Good play here. And he's got a case. That's a, he's got out of case. Yeah, action's happening so fast though, those are tough calls to make. And the, to be honest, he's not beat, but he's on the back foot. The offensive player is going through him. It's yeah. kind of a saving grace. You have has to have a clear case to not get that call. Yeah, what you're taught growing up as a post defender is uh, don't swipe down or they're probably gonna get caught with the call. If right. you're swiping up, even if you get all ball, you might not get that call. Right. You really just kinda wanna avoid swiping in general, right? Yeah, hands up. Don't reach or you'll get taught. Yeah, and a strong move. Macklin's a tall order, literally and figuratively. Yeah. He's played a great all-around game. Offensive threat. Looking to pass, looking to score. The guy does it all as he goes to the bench for a well-deserved break. And will likely wrap up the tournament. He had a great tournament. Great tournament. 
exciting things to watch throughout the season. I think also what I was going to say earlier is what this does is it gives fans in their respective countries a chance to see yeah. sort of the Korean teams and the Japanese teams. Yeah, a good first look. And, for sure. and, and you, but also from a fan base, you develop a little bit of a following and you, you're going to keep tabs on these teams. And as this tournament continues to develop and grow year on year, that interest in the other leagues is going to be, it's only going to get stronger as Suda knocks down the three. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's created a fan in me. The way he plays, a lot of effort on both ends, and, and the game came to him tonight in this uh, in this matchup. Looking for his cutting teammates, and, uh, and then finally getting himself involved with a few more shot attempts at the end. Drawing another foul. And what can only be described as just disrupting the flow of the game at this point. Yeah, I was going to point that out. You got a blowout on your hands. You don't really want to stop the action here if you're the Kings. Just kind of delaying the inevitable. Absolutely. <laughs> that being said, all week the officials have been great. Yeah, I like the flow of the game so far. Every, yeah, I mean every game. Not just blowing smoke. They've been good crews. Yeah. Regulated the flow well. One of the things you don't want to see from the crew is uh, trying to dictate the game. You know, let, let the game come to them as well. Right. Tejo converts on the second free throw there. As Chang Song checks back into the game for the Orion. Brown down low, still encouraging his teammates to get quality out of the end of the game oh. here. Careless turnovers, <laughs> the Orion get an easy slippery. one. <laughs> Watch that line. Orion's working it around the perimeter. Looking, Looking forward to a big matchup coming up next, man. Absolutely. We'll get into that a lot. In just a little bit as Ivor Brown comes back with the rebound and he pushes the ball himself. Yeah, I like nice that. Nice little float yeah. in the rain. Lane. And they're going to get the foul and the push in the back. So good take and good action by Ninomiya there. Still playing hard. Yeah, another little guy down there amongst the trees. You got to get that shot up nice and high over him. Going to the line now for two. And converts in the first. See if maybe they can get this deficit to under 20 and, and end on some positive momentum. Yep. And as mentioned before, it is a preseason tournament, so really trying to hone down those fundamentals and basics before they begin their season. Yeah, really on just feeling, feeling out their teammates and uh, getting a sense for how you want to play the game. Good hand. I like the call leaving Brown in the game right now. I like yeah. his attitude. I like his energy. He's he's encouraging his guys to stay with it. Yeah. Animated and still very invested in the game. Yeah, I agree. Sometimes when uh, during garbage minutes, you can see the uh, the effort go down a bit. But that's not the case. He wants his guys to get better, and he wants to get better himself. Certainly can't uh, hurt. Yeah. to the basket there for the running hook. Also a quality big man there with a lot of potential. Yeah, they still got song. they still got uh, Jinsu Choi in the game as well. Yeah, the backup big there tipping the ball, and he's had a nice game. They've got a good team. They're very well rounded. I'd be curious to see if uh, if Spencer's the starting point guard during the regular season. I really think they're they're bringing him off the bench. I really? they like him in that six man role. Yeah, well, he's instant offense. Yeah. Almost like those instant noodles you like to eat. Yeah. Tashiro tees up a three that doesn't fall. Brown there with the rebound, and he puts it back in, still working very hard. I I wonder how many rebounds he has. A ton. Going back to Spencer momentarily is because he does come off the bench, there's I mean there's never a slowdown offensively. At no point in this yeah. game did it ever feel like the Orions had a had a lapse on offense. No, and, and when you come off the bench, I think, and your, and your role is to score, like it obviously is for him, you come off with a green light, and you, you kind of just let it fly. So reluctantly has to shoot the two. Crowd lets him hear Probably about that. <laughs> pretty annoying that he says, listen, that's not my job, and nobody come and bailed me out. I don't want to shoot that. Draws no iron. He's got a smile. He's taking it in good-naturedly. <laughs> to be fair, you do see a lot of big guys who are okay shooters that want to validate their abilities as shooters and probably look too much. 
And he did not want to he shoot that. He did not want to shoot that. And with good reason. Nice pass. Kings get a good Ooh. action there. Hard foul by Song. Yeah, you want to stay well, you want to stay away from those hard fouls to end this game. Obviously you don't want to let him score, but no. This is Watanabe there. And again, seeing flashes of that good offensive action that led to their initial 3-0 run in creep stage. Yeah, they kind of turned that around, though. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe a little fatigue setting in, five consecutive days of games. These yeah. teams typically don't have that demanding of a schedule. Yeah, it's one of the great things about tournaments. You know, they're all playing in the same venue. You get to kind of watch the other teams play, enjoy the action. But, That's Watanabe uh, getting his own rebound and putting it back in. But, yeah, they, they may be a little tired. Although, you know, the Orions have played the same amount of games, so it's a tough excuse to accept. I'm just saying. <laughs> Good. Nice take. Kind of that European maybe get an extra step there. Jin Yu came with the ball fake. And the finish. Less than a minute now. Ooh. See ya. Should have shot that. With the shot fake. Shot fake. Should have been a shot the corner. Take. There we go. Back out for the wide open three. Good looking shot. And converted. Down under 20, by like, like we were talking about. Ooh. I like the score at 88-66, though, so <laughs> clean. So clean. It's been a clean game. Why not? Divisible by 11 score? both ways. Uh, you know I'm from Florida. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Choi says, here, have it. Put it in before hey. the buzzer goes off. Tashiro says, not here. Not here. Stay at 88. Travel. And Tsuyama gets the final points of... Good hand the for the for both these teams. Great tournament, both teams. And that'll do it. Your third place finish at the Super 8 goes to the Goyang Orion Orions out of the Korean League, defeating the Ryuku Kings, the Golden Kings, by a final score of 88 to 71. And once again, despite the score, an exciting game, plenty of great action, great plays, and lots to follow, respectively, for these fan bases as they move forward in their respective seasons. Yeah, lots to follow and a whole lot to look forward to for both teams. Great individual talent at this tournament as well. You know, flashy plays, great dunks. Yeah. Um, smart execution, heady play. Martin had a few insane dunks in the first half. He's fun to watch. Yeah, he's fun to watch. Agreed. It's all because of the effort as well, right? It's not just, uh, here's, here's a couple flashy plays. The guy runs the floor. He rebounds. He screens. He guards people. He blocks shots. So... Good round of Play applause here of for, the, uh, for the Kings. Even though they lost the game, it was a good effort. Yep, fans rewarding the effort. Very appreciative. Hey, Jinshu, 17 points in the game. Are you happy with your stats? I'm really happy for I made it a seven point in the game today. Uh, and then also we won the game, so th that's great for, for our team. And up with third in the tournament in the Super 8. Can you conclude the tournament? Uh, I don't even know we got, we can make the third place in this tournament game, but it doesn't matter. So we try to make the better step by step. But that tournament game pretty helpful for our teams. Thank you, Jinsu. Right, thank you. Thank you. Was Jinsu Choi there with the words talking about his his pleased effort for the tournament and happy to be a part of this exciting tournament and good showing. We got Spencer here. My man, the war expenses right here with me. Back to back to back to back to back games. Five games in a row in five days. Tell me how tired are you? Uh, I actually feel pretty good. I mean, it's, 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 been, it's been tough five games. Uh, it showed a little bit yesterday uh, in our play, but today we just wanted to come back out and uh, bring some intensity back to the, to the game again. Tell me, how is this tournament going to be ready, going to be prepared for the season starts? Uh, I think it's really good. I mean, for sure we're going to be in shape uh, after five games back to back. We'll definitely be in shape. Uh, we uh, find, found a way to get some chemistry going as a team. Um, you know, just, just really playing together and, you know, putting the game plan together. And how do you like the Super 8 tournament? Like, how do you like playing against the top players from China and Japan? Uh, it's really competitive. Um, it's a nice tournament, nice um, atmosphere. Um, couldn't ask for anything better. Thank you, Dewarik. Thank, Thank you so much.
And that was Dwarak Spencer talking a little bit about those that five game spread, a little tough in the legs. But again, still able to come out with the victory, 88-71, Orions over the Kings. And the third place finish, third place game in the books, the winning team. Victorious are the Orions after defeating the Kings. As we go over some of the highlights here, they're really, it was all Orions throughout the entire game. Great basketball from a strong supporting cast. What were your expectations met for this game, Christian? Yeah, absolutely. I thought no, they weren't. You wanted a closer <laughs> one. You can talk about what was good, but at least be honest. <laughs> no, I thought, I thought um, Macklin had a great game.